Hello and welcome back to the Garena Premier League. And this is it. This is the final week, week 20 and day one. And I'm Tevers. And this is me, Sudo. Glad to be here right at the final stretch, the last week. So we have six games for you for this weekend. And it's going to be one heck of a fight. Mm -hmm. And what a, great, what, a, what a great way to start off the last week with TPA playing both games today. They're both going to be very exciting matches and something that everyone will want to keep an eye yeah. out for as they are the Season 2 World Championship. World so, Champions. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, World Champions, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, moving on, before I go on to this, let's give a brief introduction to what GPL is. GPL represents, well... GPL it's stands for uh, Garena Premier League. <laughs> I like to use weird words, but it doesn't match at the same time. Yeah. They let him crack me. It's more fun that way. So it is a well, six, total of six teams joining. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you could say you could say that all oh, are from Southeast Asia since Taiwan was considered under Southeast Asia. So we have Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam, Thailand, Philippines, and Taiwan. Six teams, and they've been they will play out twenty week run tournament with 40 matches and you can see that uh, the top 3 rankings will be able to play out the best of 3 for the top 2 and top 3 and after that the winner will play against the ranking, first ranking for best of 5 and in the end we crown the GPL champions for season 1 Yeah and the champions and all the, um, the playoffs of it will actually be happening next week in the Garner Stadium right there in Singapore itself so if you are Singaporean make sure you go and possibly get the last few remaining tickets, if you can possibly get them, a couple of um, the Game Masters and there are multiple competitions going on for you to get the very last tickets. You definitely don't want to miss it. It is the starting of something amazing. It is the Season 1 and I mean, you should be a part of it if you have been watching us, you have been following GPL all throughout the time. And, you know, let's just have a quick look at the teams and what their current standings are. Because this is Week 20 and the starting of the week. Um, so on the first leading up there, we have Taipei Assassins. Um, like you did mention, they are the world champions. They have 36 wins and so only hard. two losses. <laughs> I mean, that sort of ratio is staggering. If they do end up with 38 to 2, that would mean that they have a only a 5% loss, loss rate. rate. They have a 95% win rate. That's <laughs> ridiculous. We have Singapore Central very strong up there. 29 wins, Saigon Jokers 19 wins, the Kuala Lumpur Hunters with 15, Manila Eagles with 11, and Bangkok Titans coming out of nowhere to have four right here, oh, oh, happening over the last three weeks. Mm -hmm. They managed to get onto the board and making a strong showing as of now. Yes, and as you can see, the top three has been decided for the GPL Season 1, where first ranking definitely with Taipei Assassins, second goes to Singapore Centers. And third place will go to Saigon Jokers. I mean, that doesn't mean the other teams will just give up for these remaining matches. Yeah, I mean, they, why would they? Yes. It, it's still a very important match and they want to get as much wins as possible. So that's what they've been doing. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So that's why, do not worry. Even though the rankings has been set, that doesn't mean the, the professional teams out there are ready to just give up everything because, you know, this all these matches are very important. Because yeah. from from the showing from SAJ, from SGS and TPA in the international scene, mm -hmm. they have also dragged all the international crowd to come and view what's yes, happening I mean. in the Southeast Asia area and they definitely want to do their best to impress them as well as showcase their own abilities to the world. Yep. The I mean, button. For, for many people, they are asking what's going on behind us. Oh. Um, this is for the international viewers out there, we are celebrating Deepavali, which is the Festival of Lights. But not yet celebrating, but soon. In conjunction, in with, conjunction, it. In conjunction it, with it. In conjunction with it. So it is celebrated by Hindus across the world. And so it's a festival of light and Karma decided to join us. After getting multiple opinions, you know, people say that she seems to fit it the best since her name is also Karma. No, uh, she seems, <laughs> seems, seems to fit uh, the sort of Indian motif. Um, yes. So that's why we have this background uh, to celebrate it off right yes. there. Yeah. Yes. So hopefully you guys enjoy the new background. And uh, it doesn't make us look too orangey or tasty looking or whatnot. Tasty looking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about tasty looking though. Okay, okay, so let's go through the match for today. For the first match yep. today, we have the, I suppose people would say the most exciting match out there, which is the Singapore Sentinels against the Taipei Assassins. The mm -hmm. second ranking against the first ranking out there. And it is going to be very exciting. Last week, we had Tofu Boy join back the fray for the Singapore Sentinels 
and they played off show, made a strong showing, showed that why they are still a very strong team. But now with Tofu gone once again against the Taipei Assassins, how well will that fare off? Will Taipei Assassins still be able to crush SGS in 25 minutes plus plus? I would have to say uh, like they played twice so far and Taipei Assassins has almost been trying to keep this record. Except for the Yoda party, I think. That was about 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, the, the Yoda party was about 30 minutes out there. But uh, within this game, to be very honest with you, uh, Singapore Sentinels has not been performing up to how they initially started GPL off. Definitely. Uh, one of the reasons which many people even know about is simply because Tofu is no longer with them. And they, they are suffering a little bit, I would say. Um, to whether they can actually beat out Taipei Assassins, yes, of course, the possibility is there. However, Taipei Assassins has been dominating all throughout the time and it's just been ridiculous on so many levels. So I I'm guessing a 25 to 30 minute game mm -hmm. coming out from Taipei Assassins. Yes, we have to see. If, or maybe they're going to pull out something like, you know, last time I was cussing with Dawn last week because you abandoned me for your graduation. You yes. mentioned that, you know, <laughs> <laughs> the Taipei Assassins should play a Pentakill, Pentakill skin group. You know, they have really five champions with the Pentakill skin. Olaf, Mordekaiser, Sona. I think Sona is... Yeah, Sona, Sona, Sona Kaiser, uh, Olaf... I uh, can't remember... Yorick... Uh, Yorick... And there's one more... And there's one more... <laughs> <laughs> there's one more... I, I, I can't remember which one, which one is it... Um, but yeah... Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I suppose Singapore citizens don't need that much of an introduction anymore... With, well, with the sad, sad case of the missing of one player, Tofu... But let's move on to TPA to shoot our group... Because yep. right now, for those of you who do not know... TPA compromises of nine members right now, and a lot of people are speculating that once they find another jungle, there will be two teams mm -hmm. out there for TPA to represent Taiwan, so to speak. I mean, the other thing also is that uh, for season three, Riot has made it mandatory for all professional teams to have more than five players. So they are looking for one more jungler to complete the first main five and then they're also looking for reserves to make sure everything is happening that is why a lot of teams in europe and north america are shuffling and even getting more than five or six or seven players or combining the yeah teams are combining simply. teams to make sure that they have an extremely strong showing um in where they can be versatile enough because some of the difficulties faced in season two was the fact that teams had sick members they weren't able to perform up to par and the organizers feel, you know, they, they feel for them that, you know, the teams travel from around the world and things of that sort. And if one member gets sick, one member is tired or is jet lagged, uh, the team doesn't perform so well. So having all these other reserves help back things up and make it a very international sport. Mm -hmm. And talking about Taipei Assassins, they have picked up um, new players like God, JJ, as well as Zonda. Now, they are looking for new players as well, and it's going to be exciting over the next couple of weeks to see who else gets put into this lineup of this very, very famous, very, very looked at team across the world. Yeah, yes, definitely. But before we move on to anything else, let's not forget our own special thing going on within us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is a it's, special it's, thing. This is so cool. Oh, this will be the last week and the final thing. Mm -hmm. If you have noticed for the previous results, the student has won once, I have won once, but there's no videos out yet. So this not, is the last week. Just yet. It's not just not just yet. This is the last week to determine who will win for our own challenge accepted wager out there. So can we get the list right up? Or yeah. it's missing somewhere. Ob oblivion because I don't see it coming at all. <laughs> no worries. So basically <laughs> what it's all about is this is called challenge accepted. And what happens is every week we have our analyst that comes up with ratios and on who's likely to win. Yes. And we wager on individual teams of who we think is going to win. And at the end of things, the winner will get to punish the loser. Now, because in the previous weeks we had not done the punishment, so the punishment is being snowballed now. And this week will be the deciding week. Now, um, one week ago, Teddy had lost every single thing. In the last week, I had lost every single thing um, <laughs> along the way. So this is going to be interesting. The first game, we have Singapore Sentinels versus Taipei Assassins. Teddy supporting Singapore Sentinels. I'm for the Taipei Assassins. 3 to 1 ratio. And the next one, we have the Bangkok Titans against Taipei Assassins. 5 to 1 ratios where I'm supporting the Bangkok Titans. So <laughs> but you will get to see that in game. Yes, you're going to see it. I mean, some people might say the ratios for Bangkok Titans might be not fair or maybe too close. But as you can see, these few weeks back, there have been putting out a very strong showing, showing that one of the stronger teams out there. But then why the ratio was so high is because also have to be with the past experience as well as the ranking they're in right now. So that's why Bangkok Titans are still the underdog in this tournament, even though they're having a very strong showing throughout. 
So yeah, this is going to be exciting and I definitely I'm going to win this week because Cat Hunters will win for me. I think so at least. <laughs> you think so at least? I mean, it, it should be pretty interesting to see what's happening now. We have uh, created all these challenges out there just to show to the audience as well as to us of how well we think of our predictions. Now, in case you don't know what actually happens in the office, is that almost on a daily basis, Teddy and I get into our, our, our little arguments <laughs> on what what our standpoints are on items, on champions, on so many different things. Um, and it's quite interesting to see actually who turns out to be right along the way. Definitely me, don't worry. <laughs> you haven't just checked back all those videos where I say you were wrong, but you should do it, definitely. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we shall see about that. So, uh, basically that's about it. Um, just before we get into the game, so um, the game, everybody's basically in the lobby and they're waiting for things now. Yeah. And the game should be starting in about a couple of minutes time. So, okay. Yeah, so uh, we should be going in a couple of minutes. And apparently, Singapore is having a little bit um, of problems on their side there. I'm not sure what's going on there. Apparently, there's no sound. Volume is off or something of that sort. Um, so, yeah. Let's just go through, like, um, actually, finally, we, we see that uh, today we'll be. We'll just, we forgot, we did make, introduce the TBA team, but forgot to mention that the five players. Who the five play, players? Yeah. yeah, okay, go ahead. It's the five players that will be playing. I would only need to say who they are. They were just the team that took the season two. World Champions back home. So it is the strongest five that we have seen for a long time. Yes, yeah. we've seen for a long time. And I believe they'll be playing for both games for today. So definitely very exciting, very exciting to see. And even in IPL, I saw through a video, they're saying who was the best top laner in the world? Is it Magnum or is it Stanley? That's what a lot of people are thinking right now. Like, you know, Magnum is very, uh, how does, well, I would say that he's very, he's, he's very different style from Stanley. Yes, like he just definitely. he is a diver, <laughs> and he, he gets he, it. He is just like it happens. Tower, turret, whatever it may be, uh, I don't care. <laughs> yes, he's yeah, just gonna dive. He, no he does behind yes, that. And for Stanley, instead, it's more like he's he's he has better sync with his team. They help each other out, and you've seen the replay for the World Championship on how he from the top lane he traveled down to the bottom lane just to secure yeah, double just kills. Just to secure the kills uh, along that. Yes, so along we're that. Go into champion select right now. And we're going to see what's going to happen. The first ban coming up from Bangkok Titans uh, is Shen. No, it's from Singapore Sentinels. Oh wow, it's actually a misclick right there. It's supposed to be Singapore Sentinels, I think. And it has been changed. And there has been changed. Right, yeah. <laughs> so that's why you did a miss. Oh, yeah. you did the special. But okay, so the, sec the first ban for TBA is still going to be Renga and Oriana and Katarina. So I have to say that, you know, I think Toys maybe owes Skyra an apology. Why maybe. is that? Because like he did write out in the article where he said that you know, uh, Skyra picked up Katarina even though he's not a famous champion anymore, and then and like he was like more on his personal forced, Yeah, it, it, he forces the team to play to his playstyle instead of him playing to the team's playstyle. Yeah. yeah. In terms of the champions being seen, that it does counter a lot of the ch top champions being played right now, and mm -hmm. she is a favorite champion. I would have to say. Oh look, they're champions too. Like this. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> look, I, I, in, in favor of somebody, I shall purposely cover this hero with my head. So in case you, you guys are watching, you see that what just happened. Anyway, <laughs> moving on, more important things going on. <laughs> we do see Oriana being taken out of course, Toys. Very famous. It's very, very famous, famous for Oriana. Out there, so. Jace being taken out, actually. No, Jace is not that popular of a band slash pick anymore after I, the I don't think so, they want but people. But first pick, Blitzcrank. Wow, okay. I... this will be interesting to see because this maybe will help uh, Darkness out instead because you know we have seen him use Leona and he has I've been like a The boss. question is, Jungle Blitzcrank or Look, Support Blitzcrank? Definitely support, definitely support. I, mean, I want to see Jungle Blitzcrank. <laughs> like, oh, out of nowhere, a hand comes up. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah. The, I mean, that would be, like really hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> definitely. And you will see he, 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 he takes promote and search right there just for fun because the game hasn't start, actually started. But here you see we spawn the Blitzcrank very quickly, it's just Tarek. Yeah. And Tarek is Tarek's one counter. of the counter to yeah. Blitzcrank. You simply, if you if you somehow pull Tarek in, you're going to get a stun to the face. And the stun um, deals more damage when you are the closer you Mostly. are to the enemy. Um, you're going to get a shatter and you're going to get a smash right into them. It's gonna yeah, it doesn't even need to shatter because he wants to, he might want to remain tanky yeah. and shatter later on. It's about before but he wants to die. You see Trundle, Trundle, very, 
very silent over the past several months in competitive scenes. I would have to say the buff they gave to him, just a slight buff up, has made him so much better, more played, better oh, played. But look at this, we have Alistair as well. So it looks like, I'm guessing Alistair is going to be jungling, but it would be interesting if Xiaomi plays Alistair mid. Uh, I, I really want to see that though. I mean, like this is the last week, the last attempt to ever play against Taipei Assassins in GPL Season 1. I want to see unorthodox strategies. I want to go something crazy out there. But I, I think going something crazy out there is really not their choice right now. Because SGS, as you can see right now, they need to, without Tofu, they need to get a custom and in sync with everyone else right now. More so than trying true. out random strategies, which they did try and it quite failed quite badly, I would have to say, for the beginning when Tofu just left, like the Vega mid and how TP just swapped the lanes with Severe and the yeah. support mid. And just oh, that, that was really good. Uh, that, that was, was really very, good. very good. So now we do see. Graves being picked up, maybe. Graves also not locked in yet, but yet. It'd, be, it'd be interesting if it's Graves and Nunu. The blood ball will definitely help him out a lot there. More importantly is that Graves is not so afraid of getting grabbed because his passive gives him the extra armor and magic it's resist. Grit. That's what yes. it is. True grit, and it oh, helps him survive. Jacks. Much Jacks. Yikes. The famous Stanley Jacks, the one <laughs> you love to love to see. All the, the leap strikes in perfect unison out there. Oh, it's going to be great. Uh, I really are though. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. And luck. So it looks like it's going to be a jungle, Alyssa, and a support. Dang. Like, <laughs> I really is actually weak against Jax. Yeah. But it hasn't been locked in yet. I, to be honest, I'll prefer Yorick against Jax uh, as compared to Irelia against Jax. Yorick is not that strong overall once he reaches the end game and did not, did not choose a hyper carry characters. Yeah, I mean, I, I, the whole reason I say that is because like the ultimate can be put onto Ezreal and you know, that's... Yeah, but I mean, if comparison... That could help out. It could help out, that yeah. Help but out, yeah. it works better with a Vayne or Kogmaw, definitely. Oh, but of course, Sana, yeah. So as a Carters, like those small hyper carries-ish champions, so to speak. Like he works best with those things. Yeah, I mean, de definitely out there. Uh, if that happens now, five years as in last pick, who do you think? Quick. Against Lux? Mm -hmm. You take Carters. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's going to be Lee Sin, maybe. Lee Sin? <laughs> like, <laughs> Theo you know, Frogger has been playing Lee Sin. I mean, Corky. I mean, uh, okay. Corky? Yeah. He played Corky mid during okay. the MLG, and okay. he crushed. Oh, okay. they, they do have Nunu that could go AP and deal the, the magic damage they, from there. They, they don't really need the, I they would they take Sophia. They have Jax oh. for the Ooh, damage. Gragas. 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 Mm. big damage. Gragas. Actually being... Actually Chawi's favourite champion being picked right there. Perhaps oh, it's going to be Frogans and Nivea. <laughs> uh, that could be interesting uh, to be... I don't know, Twister oh, Fate. Twister Fate, Twister Fate yeah. is still open but nope, it's going to be a lock-in Vladimir right there. Vladimir, yeah. So it's going to dodge. He's going to troll pool at least. Uh. <laughs> troll pool, troll in the jungle. <laughs> it, it, it's a troll know, This team looks <laughs> very, very strong. And very scary. But I mean, it's actually a very, very strong AP mid. Yes. In comparison to everything. And then I think he can combo really well with Trundle's wall. Double slow, actually. Trundle Two. put a pillar of fill. It's a pillar of fill. Pill. With the sanguine pool. Goes down. Jax can leap strike on two on top. And if and that all happens with Nunu's absolute zero right happening right in the middle. Yes, nowhere to run. Wow. Definitely. Let's just have a quick look at the runes and see. Uh, let's just wait for him to fully lock in yep. or count out the finish. Uh. And also, Nunu might even be the one blowing jacks instead of graves when it comes to the end game. Yeah. They will actually much better, in my opinion, personally. Of course, after Phantom Dancer as well as the quick draw, uh, graves is fine. What do you think about Trundle having flash instead of exhaust? He has flash. Yeah, no. Oh, oh what do I think? Yeah. I think it's right now, it's a more safe choice because, you know, the throw, his pull, his movement speed buff, the AoE skills, all helping out really well. But still, in terms of ganking wise, he does not need exhaust. Almost. If he lands a good pillar of filth in the correct position, the gank is a success. Yeah. And the flash is more, is more helpful in terms of the mobility wise. Just and in case he gets stuck in a city situation. Uh, yeah. Which is more, more likely to happen because there's an Alista and a Blitzcrank. Yeah. So the flash will be better in terms of all overall pick. So let's go through this very quickly. I'll look at Chandra's runes and mastery because no one has picked him since forever. But I think actually TP did pick him one or two weeks ago. Oh, there's a little let's bit see. of a bug right there. Oh. Yeah. But here we do see the... Yeah, I think we did see... I think I believe I saw BB use it last week, but I, don't, I can't remember if it was last week or two weeks ago. If it, was not two, it shouldn't be two weeks ago if you, didn't, if you don't remember. It should have been last week. Last you know, week? Really? Uh, uh, I'm not sure, but I need to go back and check things out. Here so, yeah. we do see the runes. is going to be... Yeah, it's going to be the armor pen mix of physical damage overall. 
and flat armor and magic resist. So basically, when he comes for the gank, it's going to be very painful when Trainer comes in. Focusing more on the overall damage onto champions from the armor pan instead of in the early stage clearing up the jungle wave much quicker because he does have his bite, which grants him additional attack damage anyway. I would have to say. So interesting picks and choice out there. And mm, everything else is much, much standard, but I would like to look at Irelia. Okay. Because right now, because of so we could everyone's buying Ionic Sparks and Wits End. As you yeah. saw yesterday for yes. the Vietnamese team fought out for Saigon I was for Saigon Jokers buying that out. So let's see whether there's anything different and it's here we see Eco Worker still keeping that crit chance right there. 1.9%. Just a little bit. Just and a little bit. Single damage 14, flat armor as magic resist, all flat. And here for the mastery side, it's gonna be 9, 14, 7. Oh. Quite interesting in my opinion. Just going semi, semi, everything needed to survive well in the lane because if you do, if you do spam uh, Arida's first skill, the search, search blades, I believe it's called. Yes. Right? Yes. You can actually run out of mana. Even though it gets to be fine, you half of your mana. If you don't have, if you don't have good mana regeneration, you can actually you, run you out. You run out of mana if you keep using it. That's for sure. And that will keep that will keep Arida healthy in order to do it as well as keep up a stance and all those things in the lane. It's more more likely going to go for various passive lane. Unless you can go aggressive and just slowly, slowly farm up. No, uh, somebody on the chat did, did already say this, that Singapore Central is going for a... Uh, try to catch out a champion. Uh, with Lux Binding, with Alista being able to push people out, with Blitzcrank's grab out there, Irelia being able to you know, search to uh, the enemies. But like the question which I even wrote on the chat, which is, can they catch enough of DPA to uh, make it possible. worth it? Yeah, to make it worth it along the way. Because, for instance, if they do a three or four-man gang to the bottom lane or into the mid lane, can they make enough of a kill where else TPA can just farm up all they want in the other lanes? But the problem is that even if they do catch someone off, maybe at the bottom lane, mm -hmm. if Chanter is there, he will disrupt the whole fight. At the same time, the damage output difference is right there. Yeah. With a bug shot, collateral damage, Chandra's pool just slowing everyone off, disrupting everything, and Nunu is casting absolute zero. I mean, so that's the thing. I mean, they need to make it so that they get like one kill and no deaths, mm -hmm. or perhaps maybe two for one or yes. three for ones to make it worth it. Because as long as Taipei Assassins is breaking even on trades, Singapore Sentinels is losing out. Yes. Because Alista is really needs to snowball very hard in the early stages. Uh, as well as Blitzcrank, I would have to say, getting a few quick kill slash assist. But before I move on to that, let's quickly move into the game as the game has begun and we do see the pings going off and apparently SGS is going to be very aggressive. It's going to pull over the red buff right there. I did see a ping go off right there. So, and his hasn't been used anymore because overall his damage output is not there. Yeah. I have to say, it's just the CC, yeah, not, not someone really else that, needs so, yeah. to do the damage. Instead of, we use Maokai. Maokai is uh, Arcane Smash does a lot of damage actually in the early stages. And it has a faster cooldown than Power Rise in comparison to uh, Alista. And here we see, wow, well, Hope going off already just to see whether anyone was guarding into the area. So they just wanted to pull someone off guard and they, that is what's happening as you mentioned. They're just going to try to pull something. And here oh, we Oh, could it be a pull? No, so the pull has been used just now over the Baron. I think it's just almost getting ready. See right there, 4 seconds left. The grab is really just 20 seconds cooldown. just takes forever. So once you missed it, it's like, oops, wrong button. <laughs> once you miss it, it's really like, it's going to take forever for it to happen again. And a lot of, that's how you take advantage when you fight against a beast crank. And it's very important for all those things to hit. So it gave me a moment to move everything into position. And here we do see, well, well after feeling the initial pull, SGS is going to fall back? We're going to move into the opponent's blue. Not so sure. No pinging going on on the map whatsoever. I just believe they're just talking it through. Yeah, Instead I mean... They, they don't even need to be looking at the map, they just want to just talk it through, so... Um, I don't know, they, they just want, they're just walking around everywhere, they just want... They don't want to allow Taipei Assassins to be inside anywhere. Uh, but we do see, or possibly, the, they do see the ward, in fact, so yeah, that's good. Um, yeah, um, they, they're just going to do what they do best, they're just going to take the waves, like usual. You see, this is something that uh, Taipei Assassins do right now. Here, right here, they take just the big waves. They just counter jungle with the AD carry and support, very quickly, and then... It help. It makes the jungle lose out a, s a slight bit of exp. Oh, and this leash is not good. <laughs> oh, it's okay. The life is just so going going on slightly. <laughs> <laughs> that leash. Um, but it looks like there will be no pulling action for Blitzcrank. A little bit sad. I mean, every time I, I see someone use a Blitzcrank, I just hope for a pull of the blue buff or pull of the red buff to, you know, make something happen along the way. But yeah, but problem is, if the pull happens, can they win the fight? Yeah. Yes. That's one thing that they worry of. 
If they do not catch the person, just a single champion off. Uh, no, actually, I think you're like pulling the buffs out there instead of pulling the. I mean, I mean to pull the buff, but then you never know. You might pull a wrong thing. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Um, but yeah, I mean, looking at how the laning phase of things are going right now, there have been no swaps. It, it is pretty much um, perfectly equal. I would say that... Oh, look at the trade immediately going off. <laughs> Surging away just to get away from the stun and coming back. EP Vocal doing a, a interesting job <laughs> of things. I mean, very interesting plays out there. Um, but at the bottom, it looks like he's being heavily pressured. Nunu happily walking into the bush, throwing an ice ball out and... A grab from nowhere to catch nothing. And we do see a change though. Hyrule is actually playing support. Yep. And Darkness is actually playing jungle for this match, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it was actually mentioned in the chat slightly before this. Yeah. They just want to swap it out. I think they want to find their yeah, group I, I, the best possible fit for them. So maybe it has to do with the champion slash. It Champions. could be. It yeah. could be very well. That be as well. Um, what's interesting to see here is that uh, initially Lux should have the advantage against Vladimir. But once Vladimir hits 7, I would say um, Lux will start losing out. And that is why I would say Lux has a teleport, so Shawi can uh, teleport and try to make something happen. But the exhaust goes down so very quickly. Oh my, missing the combo there. Pullback does happen though. Could this be a kill? The first one, mistake very, very low. Um, yes, first blood. In fact, nice job there. Going off to darkness. So good. Um, but did he spend quite. And he spent a lot of summoner awesome. spells just to yeah. bring him down. And I, I I don't know about that. How well he can transition. They, they did manage to, to catch somebody off, which was what they were supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. But they used quite a number of summoner spells. So yes. how worth it was it? I don't really know. Um, but Trundle, Trundle is hiding around there. Not really hiding, just trying to stay off the rave because uh, at least I was at the bottom. Yep. But it depends. Like After this first kill, this first bird having the extra gold, is I going to play safe, go for the early GP fights or go for the boots of mobility? And if he goes for the boots of mobility, would be in oh, his favor. Just barely missing there. Uh, even if Halilia did catch Graves, a buckshot to the face. Oh, nice wow. job there. Nice Ooh, job. Nice. Man. Very nice coordination. Um, Graves thought that, oh, look, the hook came out. Nothing was happening. So his vision was focused in front of him instead of having it behind. Uh, and then when Lux teleported down and managed to get the kill, that was good. However, Vladimir is free farming at mid. But they are, they, are they are crushing the bottom lane in that sense, securing two kills for, securing kills for their uh, AD, for the AD carries, for the AD so yeah. carry and assist at the same time. So I believe it's it's still a good thing for now. The, the, even if you lose up quite a bit early stage in mid lane, Lux can catch up very easily later on with the lasers, just farming up minions from very far and safe distance. But then, then it transitions just to the fight, how it's going to go off. Okay. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> wow. Okay. Some, there was something. Something wrong that went. Happened, um. Right? Yeah. So not not to worry there. So what we do see that Blitz is actually really low, and Nunu is now being in a little bit of commanding position simply because Ezreal does have a little bit of advantage there. Mhm. Mm I like that. Like that. No, I like I that. <laughs> no, I do, actually, I actually actually like that because I'm voting for Singapore. So yeah. I have spotted for Taipei Assassins. I, it doesn't matter even if they do get a couple of kills initially. I think Taipei Assassins can easily bounce back. It's the same as how Stan Lee died so many times when using Teemo and in the end, he just had so many kills and wrecked everybody. Like, yeah. The night 10, 5, 7 Teemo, I think? Somewhere there? Yeah, somewhere like that. Oh, Chawi. Oh, look at that. Look at the pool and the ice ball. Going up. The chemo and plate will just secure this kill right there. 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 But Toys, oh, Lil Balls just managed to escape there. Um, very nice job, Taipei Assassin. See, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Taipei Assassin does have the coordination. Um, I would say has better coordination than Singapore Sentinels. Uh, def definitely as an overall team play, definitely has better coordination. And you could see right there, just talking about the disruption and slow. And the slow to are ridiculous. Slow. slow is just totally ridiculous. Sandwich pool was not even used uh, mm -hmm. to add on to the additional slows right there. So, I mean, the, the Hemo Plague <laughs> that was thrown out there immediately did so much of damage. So, it was really good. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we see everything is trading off slightly. Everything, you see, you see that Singapore Sentinels has the two kill. It has one kill advantage and that's just that. Is this a triangle go right there standing quite a bit? The, in terms of overall CS wise, it is slightly in the favor of SGS, even though we saw that, I'm sorry, in TPA, even though we saw that BB did die off early. He does have 51 CS against Azure's 42 CS. As well as the mid lane, because Zaxxi teleport away, but I mean CS is about the same. And oh, here we see again going up. Does the go down. Goes, 
But the counter strike, oh wow, all the knockback nice. going in. But here Stanley would definitely be almost, I think he'd definitely uh, be able to. Ignite does go off though. But he does use Douglas his ghost as well as his ultimate. And you know, just because Jax has an ultimate, he stays alive. That is a proven fact. If you dive him, he's at level 6 with a jungler and uh, at the top laner, yep. Jax should be able to do a fight back. And at this the same one. time, Taipei Assassins took the dragon. So, uh. No, they, yes, have a look at the dragon. It's oh, right sorry. They were trying to take the dragon, but they decided to back away, seeing that what was happening on top. Um, and they went to take the blue. They went to take the blue instead. Um, they could have taken the dragon, to be honest. I mean, uh, they, could they could have. They could have. But maybe you just want to wait out. Also, sure, uh, what will be happening because luck was on the map at the same time, I think. Yeah, so um, it almost went into the additional favor of Taipei Assassins. But look at this, even though they're one kill ahead, they're only a hundred gold difference between the teams. So And look at Stanley being a boss, not even afraid of Irelia, just letting her stun her while using Counter Strike to dodge every single hit and no problem in surviving. All the consecutive hits after that, so yeah. Here you see Hallelujah charging in, most probably trying to get a grab in, but Nunu is just standing in front of him, blocking any potential grab. Look at the quick jaw. Oh, Lux is coming inside, here. Lux is coming inside here and they'll... Will they... the grab? Oh. Uh, no. The grab was used. I mean, I... Oh, oh, oh the binding. Nice binding <laughs> that. Uh, will the knock-up actually happen? Um, Hallelujah is a little bit afraid because he doesn't want to get a buck shot to the face. But it looks like they will be going away. And now Vladimir is still being allowed to farm. Vladimir is at 80. Lux is at 58. So This, this is something Yikes. similar repeat of what happened. Actually, I would like to say it when... Uh, there was one game where TPA fought against KLH and we used Morgana in the mid yes. and Bellamy was in the middle and Morgana just, just kept trying to help the other lanes and fell back so much on farming that Bellamy just dived tower and killed her. I mean, this is, this is, this is what we were talking about initially, whether uh, they can catch people out, yes. Whether they can make the catches worth it is the other thing. And here we see a gang coming oh, up, follow up by the troll pool as well as we do see mm, toys coming to get out of the this. final hit to land it and there it goes, the kill right there. A lot of people say that's a KS, but no, it's that's a just, kill a, secure. Yeah, just um, a team. And making and giving to the giving to whichever target at that point of time is still an advantage. Yes. I, I mean Lifo now did get the kills um, from the bottom layer and they're gonna transition now into taking the dragon. Uh, Lux, in fact, is the one that's going to be tanking the dragon and now switch over to Darkness. So he's be able to tank it up. Nunu is coming in. Vlad is coming in. Oh, it's going and to be they, a dragon party. Yes, they might be able to secure the dragon, but we're going to they see so low. toys secure the kills. And there it goes. The flash. Demo plague does go off. Right now, look at Darkness. Just instantly going to go down to the ignite as well as toys. the first catching, kill. Like, on Second the blizzard, kill. Double kill right there. And Izu just manages to run away with his. Flash as well as Arcane Shift. Yeah. And you can see they knew that they were, they were doing Dragon, but they didn't want to contest for it. Want to let the Dragon do all the hits onto them. And, and finally, then go in for yes, it. Yes, yeah, there was yeah. no ward there, it was dewarded, but they just calculated the correct timing to move into the They together. simply just knew that it was going to the bottom. They know they're a little bit low. They can't take Dragon all that fast. Um, and it was just about the right timing for it to do so. So, yeah. I mean, this is the amount of map awareness. You don't need to have a wall to know what's going around Not in the map. map awareness, but I would say more of like overall calculations, like the damage mechanics beat, of the game. The mechanics, overall mechanics of the game. Like you have Ice Time Blitz Crank, when you fight when you kill off the dragon it's gonna be very slow definitely. Yes. Because you have no They don't have superior attack jacks. speed, yeah. they don't have superior burst. Mm -hmm. So I mean that's that's definitely gonna go with it into their favor right there. And so we do see even like, though, look it, at that. Type assassins ahead. Yes, I was about to mention Not that. Worry. <laughs> Not to worry. Not to worry. Not to worry for you. Not to worry for me. Type is gonna win this, so yeah. Yeah, and so we could see that Toys is just totally just look at his items. Iron boots and he has a spirit reset. Oh sorry, not yet spirit reset. He not just has the gem as well as his revolvers, but also have a busting wand. So is he gonna so, go for Wheel of Ancients? Uh, he's gonna go for Wheel of Ancients first actually. I I mean he could go for Abyss Scepter instead. Oh look at that. Quick draw. Very just nice. beating out the hook and quick draw in the last second. This is something that a lot of players try to do but fail to do but will have to say. Even I myself, you know, sometimes I'm overcoming. Oh, yeah, nice. Go, go right there. Totally perfectly placed right there. Blocking this crank. Care to make a detour. Oh, nice. Stoke him for like at least three seconds there. Even though he had the speed boost and a nice skill being picked up. I mean, there was the ice ball combination into the filth oh, pillar yeah. as well. So, very, very pain. Very, like you very see, pain. If, if mistake or little boss gets cashed off, they're just gonna throw filth, they're just gonna throw slow, the teammates will follow up. And they just, need, they just need one initiation, that's all. And then they can just make things happen. Uh, what's interesting to note is that Irena's getting some free farm on top, 
which is good, but she still is 20 CS behind Jack. So, and we do Ooh. see that after we turn back to base, and you know, Bellamere went to gang down the bottom. And let's just look, it's actually a fight going on here, right here. Wow, Bellamere Toy is trying to be a boss right there. He's just gonna keep, he wouldn't be able to do anything. Wow, it's a, it's a 2v1, and the two are backing off. <laughs> just just as how I still difference and level difference right there. I mean, it's more important for level in terms of AP casters as compared to ADs. Uh, ADs require items, AP casters or APs in general require levels. And because just levels just skill better. Yeah, sorry. I was going to cut you because I no, thought they were diving for the kill, but no, they no, just... No, they're not going to dive in for the kill. <laughs> uh, the lack of wards is a little bit concerning though in this game. But you could see that even though there's a lack of wards, but TPA does know... Like, they know what's they happening. They know what's happening, but... Controlling... SGS, even though they don't have that many wards, I would have to say. But if you saw just now at the bot lane, like, it was four man gang bot too, mm -hmm. but they still managed to poke them to very low life. Yes. And the top was three gangs, then transition to the dragon, the support, and AP me just, just pincelling them in and taking the kills. And at this point in time, we do see that the differences between the junglers are becoming quite apparent. Lantern and Ninja Tabi for Trundle. Boot of mobility and heart of gold with um, almost a philosopher's stone being bought. So very different routes being taken, um, and we're going to actually see how how it's going to happen. I, I think Trento will be going for his heart of gold right now, definitely. In my opinion. We shall see what happens. Um, simply because of this, Alistair will get additional gold because of the amount of period he'd had to let his heart of gold recharge up there. Um, but on the same time, there have been three assists already on the side of uh, Trundle, so he got the additional goal from there. But Alistair got the um, first blood. It's a it's oh, here, fight happening on the bottom. BB as oh, well as very low. Back, back here. They flash away right there, and Trundle is just moving back, trying to That's save the damage. Oh, and while the laser comes in, oh, catch the kill on the BB. Nice. The flash goes on, mistake for the exhaust, oh, and the last second stops the kill. Oh, but Trundle's coming back for more. <laughs> because Valamir is coming in to sweep it everything once again. Oh, light binding is a very damage. good job there, but uh, Hero Plague's going to go down, catching three members sure, out the there. Tropu going down, taking off Haluya oh. right there. And Haluya, oh. any transition, this yes, is something else. They do though, take down our way forward as well right there. Trundle takes him out as well. Um, what's going to be interesting is that, oh, the <laughs> pillar goes down once again. So all this back and forth trading, like I said, if it isn't, if even if it's going to be an even trade, okay. it's going to type in Assassin's it's favor. Which going to dive and there goes Douglas being killed and the troll pool go out once again right there. The pool goes out and immediately switches to the Wow, actually, actually go move it. kill. There it goes. Oh, the shield. Just the barely. last second, just barely. And they're going to fall Five. back right there. To up the light binding does go down, but nope. No. No other kill goes out there. Lux just doesn't want to get too close because simply of the transfusion that Vladimir can actually pull out. It's oh, go to the laser right there, take out the laser boss. Well very, played. Well played. very, <laughs> very nice. Uh -huh. uh, the best part is there was no ward. There was so no he ward. just expected that. Uh, Stanley could possibly go down here. The slow does go off. One more hit, another. And no, Joker is unable to catch up. And here, oh, so the... just lead back to safety. And here we see. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah, trying to kill Toys, but Toys just with his sustain is going to be. Oh, the throw oh. the last second dodging the hits. And now dodging out the. Oh, oh, just by so close. Oh, just oh, this is... all the skills right there, actually oh, doing such a wow. great job. Oh. shot live. We are wow. so excited to see how we have to say. Oh, I really are now playing back. Oh, bye bye, Aurelia. Yes, bye bye, Aurelia. There it goes. The creator damage. And now they're going to take the top tower. They're going to do a trade because they're going to lose top, the bottom. Top for bottom, no problem there. Um, you are going to just spawn out. One thing to know. Yeah, but I don't think so. They're going to, they can actually take out the dragon simply because Alistair is not in position. If Alistair was already walking towards there, they could make something happen. But the tower is actually not taken off just yet and Trundle's coming there. So it's not even an even trade-off of towers. So. Oh, it's not even a trade-off of towers. Look, look, look let's no, just... It's not allowed the minions to yes, chip it here, look, look, and look at BB just farming away right there. Let the minions do the job. And at least they just hiding. Nothing much you can do right there. Having to wait. <laughs> the tower does go down, but tower at the bottom is still up. The tower is still there, so... Yikes. Okay, I was wrong. Wow, and Trundle is actually very rich right now. He goes straight away for Spirit Research. Yeah. Going for the small I sustain. Mean, he has the kills, he has the assists. He doesn't need the gold generation. He doesn't need it, but uh, it helps. It's, it's but he, helps. But he can transition into, for instance, Spirit Research, which helps him jungle even more, helps him sustain more during his fights and things of sort. And then also, he grants the cooldown reduction as well. Oh, look at that. 
even a placement of the ping one immediately sees what's happening there. Vision is granted and Taipei Assassin is going in for the second dragon. So yes. Actually, we do see the second Orcus going down. The first one by Alistar being taken off by uh, Toys. And now we see that Halloween has picked up the Orcus. And let's see how long he can fall onto this, actually. Sad to say, but you know that is, that is a fact right now. Because they they're being desperate. They need to know where the opponents oh are going. Oh my, my, my. It's a whole pincer oh. thing going on. What is Blitzcrank doing? Okay. Ultimate Blitzcrank does get popped. Yes, is right. so low. Oh, nice. Look Slam at the, the amount top. of slows Ooh. right there. Nowhere to run and wow, Blitzcrank standing there trying to guard his AD carry oh, and there the goes slows. Not even taking out a single ward, I would have to say. No. I, don't, I don't think so he did take out any wards. Yeah. This is not good. I mean, Blitzcrank was there. He should have walked into the Dragon Pit somewhere on that side and teleported back instead of waiting within the brush there. I'm not sure what exactly you're trying to do, oh, but light binding misses. Pipey Assassins, this game. Yes. Just perfect. Here this look, they're gonna jump onto our way oh, right now. And here he goes, his splash is down, the stuns, the ice ball, the corrector damage, and the kill. Just perfect the, combination. The amount, of, the amount of CC, both hard CC and soft CC is just wrecking everything. Yeah, it's just you see both teams have it as well, I would have to say. Yeah. yeah. But overall, when it comes to total disruption, nothing beats I, I would think pillow of pillow. Because <laughs> I was just say because all these slows are skill shots on the side of Singapore Sentinels and these slows and stunts are area of effect on the side of uh, Taipei Assassin. So when you put it down, you're most likely going to get a hit as compared to a skill shot. Yes, definitely. And this game, once he misses the pool, it's like, okay. Oh, great. Now what do I do? Now you have just to wait. I'm like, okay, now I just can punch you. Hopefully <laughs> you come close enough so I can knock you up. Yeah. So here we do see fine. The blue is going to go onto graves of the trundle. So they make something of trundle. Trundle has no mana whatsoever. The knockup okay, does happen. The does flash. flash, and when he flashes right into the minions, they can't make the pull happen. So, so he, but he did pull actually. He pulled a minion. He really oh, he, minion. Oh, yeah. it was just so close. <laughs> it was just so close. It's like instant pull right in the front of the face. So. Oh well. <laughs> but Lux does have blue buff now. Lux does have a Reverence death cap up. Vladimir does not have that out there. Like you said, it was an Abyssal Scepter that was completed and it looks as if they're going to the Spirit Visage after this. The cooldown sustain path, I would have to say. Yep. Uh, we do see on the side of Ezreal, Phage and Sheen already being bought. Looks like they're working up into uh, the Trinity Force. But on Graveside, we already have the Steel and Bloodthirster. So that's massive amounts of damage there, especially with quick draw and the blood ball from Lulu coming up. Yikes. And look at that. This toys after pushing me they're just gonna walk into the backside of the bottom lane and say hi guys, if you're not gonna run, I'm just gonna kill you right there. I'll have to see. Right there. And, I mean look at this. <laughs> the lanes are all pushing and they're gonna make something happen. It is just about the twentieth minute mark right now. So I would say within five to ten minutes time this game is over. I would have to say, you see, it is, a, it is only like a 6k gold difference, but overall control of containing the opponent it's TP massive. is just massive. Just it is just so one-sided. One-sided, and here we see a Baron. And true enough, it is going to be a Baron, and they're going to go into the push. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at that. This thing just casting his ultimate. Just want to chip it down, take it off as fast as possible. Here, I believe Toys is not oh, going to get caught. Get caught. <laughs> Toys is getting caught. He's just like, just hit me, please. No problem at all. Because look at that. No damage was ever done that much. Uh, but they decided oh. not to actually finish up Baron, though. Um, the Light Binding does go up and Trundle gets caught. So, nothing much is going to affect Trundle. Oh, wait. You caught me. So what? <laughs> yeah. So, what they do have now is that um, they're all poised for one big fight. And this fight, I would say, will determine quite, quite a bit of the game. Um, I would say... In in totality, Taipei Assassins do have a huge advantage for two reasons. One is Hemoplague. The additional damage that can be dealt there um, is massive. And second is the AoE stuns and slows. Because um, once a Pillar of Filth does go down, that's the end of things. Pillar Actually, we do see the Pillar of Filth. And okay. running around. Them. Okay, getting grabbed, no problem. Terrence is taken down here. He's just gonna charge back in. Oh, we walk out. Make something happen here. Oh, the, the not back. Spark is not in the same place. Shall we get one kill? BB is now forcing to go back, but no. Uh, Hemoplake he does go down, picking up only one person from there. Uh, Ezreal could make something happen, but Irelia is coming in as well. Trundle trying to make something happen. Um, nice does go down. The grab does go up. Nobody's escaping from this. 
Zyphus as it looks like it's going down, but will trying to be able to make something. Little balls, one last hit. Come on, will you be able to do it? Yes, there goes the yes. tofu right there. The perfect oh. position, pushing him back into his face and the bike. He's going to be so low and looks like the minions are going to actually take him down. <laughs> Chow is going to take him down for it. Now, Singapore Sentinels did go ahead in that, but look at the top now being pushed at this very same time. So, and it was like a 3 v 3 v 4 a 2 v 3 then 3 v 4 and then 4 v 5 it, it, it was just like everybody, you know, decided to come a little bit later to the party. Except Shall we? Uh, <laughs> that was put on, but you look at the amount of disruption being thrown out. There's um, Stanley just leaping away, making sure that final spark does not happen onto it. Leaping again, uh, sorry, he flashed and then he leaped. Just to oh. make sure that he was out of luck. He just moved sideways. No, he got, okay. He, he, he was already out of the range of Lux's final spark and then at least actually bumped in the way. Oh, the I see. Part, and then okay. he just jumped over the minion because he has gold, not flash. Oh, okay. So that was it. <laughs> Correct. Yes, yes. <laughs> and here we see, I mean, uh, even though that all the kills do happen, the shutdowns did happen, but you see the, the goal difference is still 6,000. Still 6,000. Still 6, God knows what's happening here, it's still 6,000. I mean, uh, there's nothing much that uh, SGS can do. They can try to attempt onto Baron, but it's going to be, they, it, it's it's going to be such a long risky, time. Very, it's very risky. risky. They don't have enough damage. And overall, disruption of WoW, look, uh, as, as you said, Chandler is just so fat, do not even need to consider any GP fights right there. He has Doesn't a full heart already. It's perfectly fine to just keep it as the way as it is. So yeah. I thought he would go for an omen, so he just get the heart of gold first, but no, it's gonna be frozen heart instead. Getting even more cooldowns so with the spirit visage plus the frozen heart, it's about almost 40%. It, it, it's just a lot. I mean they're just waiting right now to end it. They're just waiting. There, there's nothing much else that they need to do. They just need to pressure, continue pressuring, continue to push the lane and yeah. Just let's just look at the gold difference right now, since we have a past training mark of the game. And here we see the top lane is about 1k gold difference, mainly coming from the objectives being taken on the map, I'll have to say. And for the jungle, it's just because of well, difference in terms of overall kills and assists adding up from there even more. Even though Alistar uh, stays in the game with his GP10s, but it's just not enough. For the mid lane wise, it's just because Vermez is scoring all those kills. 10k. To 8.5k. Oh, look at this. Pillar of Filth Here does go down. Jax oh. coming in. Counter Strike off. Not, not actually hitting onto Chowi though, but look at how fast it's going down. The Empowering Strike is just doing ridiculous amounts of damage. And the shutdown does go down. Trundle is so very, very low. There's fights going on all across the map. Stanley's still trying to make something happen onto it, but once again, another Pillar of Filth comes down. Oh, it's oh. in the wrong position for the Pillar. Wow, look at that. Um, wow. There's that damage. Wow. <laughs> a power leap strike. Boop. Gone. Lantern mark on you. Done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that was just. I mean, and they are pinging for Baron right now, so that's why they're going to go straight for it. They definitely can do it. It's three members of Singapore Sentinels that is down. And it's only going to be three members of TPA doing Baron, but the other two are just going to push the lanes in. Yeah, I mean, this is a lot of times that we have seen Taipei SS do this. They don't need all five members to be there. As long as two other members are keeping the rest busy. Uh, it's going into their favor. And look at the ex attack speed. Two for a second with the blood boy right there. And here the Lux laser does come out, almost picking a few members off, but no, it's not going to be enough. And here we see Toys is going to dive in. Oh, there mind. It's like a boss. I thought he was just going to pull in and chase no, everyone. He's not going to. I don't think he would have been like. That would be a little bit too um, courageous, but oh, <laughs> just barely missing that light binding once again. Um, Almost getting it for Chawi though. If he was just there for like half a second earlier, he could have possibly stolen um, Baron away. Uh, but I would say yes because the smite wasn't used actually. Yeah, the smite wasn't used, so that's the thing. <laughs> I mean, if she was there by half a second, he could have possibly done massive amounts of damage. Um, taking Baron away could have, you know, definitely helped them in their favor. But as much as they are able to take this one turret now, they oh, they still no. are pretty far away from trying to make something happen. As long as Taipei Assassins stick together right now and make one strong push into the middle, they're going to win. Yes, as you can see, the goal difference is already 11k, actually. Yeah. Just just a few minutes difference. The towers going down, Baron being taken down, two kills, and just push it so far away. Wow. So so exciting to see this happen. But as just is still in this game, they still have a chance. But here we are, look at the troll pool, just spotting oh, out the oh, right there. I don't but he's going to be done. done. He's going to be fine. Oh. He's just going to walk out. Look at that. The continuation comes out and just walks away like a boss. He even uses his ultimate and slowly killing out on the health. His life. He's not even going down. Yeah. Because he used his ultimate onto Blitzcrank, I believe. Or was it Alistar? And he was just hitting back the life. And with the spirit with such hopping onto that, no problems at all. But here we do see. What was with that laser? You saw that, right? Oh, yeah, I saw the laser switch directions. Like, it was like. 
animation bug or something. But you will see, see five members bend down just to kill one trundle. And top lane, Jax is just pushing in the mid by the mid. And Nunu, look at that. Uh, he swinging. might not. No, he won't be able to take the top turret though. Uh, but, but I would say within the next couple of uh, waves. creep waves, yeah, yeah, that will be happening. This is the siege mode of Skype Assassins, which is very, very strong. Um, Trundle is not much of a seizure whatsoever, it just helps out in disruption. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how well they can actually siege up against this sort of team. Uh, if Vladimir, for instance, does get caught out, or any... I would say Nunu, if Nunu gets caught out, it's going to be pretty bad. <laughs> but I mean, if he gets caught out, it's going to be fine. He has, he has his Zonya, he has a yeah. Trofu, he can initiate the fight. He just stands there, Hemo, he can Hemo plague, throw pool, then use Death Cat. I mean, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I use Zonya. And use Death Cat. Haha! <laughs> 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 oh, here, there he goes, he gets caught, but he uses Counter Strike. Um... He gets as much oh, damage wow, as Stanley. possible, but Stanley is actually going to walk out right there with his oh. ultimate like a boss. And here we see Thor is charging on to Charlie, taking Charlie down right there. And now the episode 0 goes down, slows down Iwoko. And look at the credit damage, and Life there goes a the flash. Bye -bye. Life 4 goes down together with Irelia right there. And here they're charging on to Halloween. Yeah, the slow does go down, the pool does go off all to Thor is Bahio, the troll pool. No problem. Troll pool and, and Nuno had to flash out of it now. They are going to be able to take turrets left, right, and center, no problem. Uh, with the that three was, of them there. 4v5 fight, you could say that they focus a lot onto Jax, but yeah. all the Jax did not go down. Jax did not go down. I mean, he was very, very close to me, definitely. That I mean, an additional one turret hit would have gotten it, but no, it did not actually happen. Jax is pushing the top lane now, the inhibitor is going to go down for the top lane, and this is going to be the end of it now. We did make the predictions, or rather, I made the predictions are uh, 25 to 30 minutes, and this is exactly what's going to be. I think they can definitely do this before the 38 minute mark. The rest of them are coming back up. Hallelujah goes down once again. Um, they are trying to focus out some of the turrets though, but BB does go down uh, at the same time. <laughs> Zonya, look at the Zonya. There he goes, pulling away right there. Oh, pull. Um, ooh, actually taking her down. It was a little bit too close on the inside there. Charging a bit and, too far. Oh, looks like they won't be able to do this. Instead of focusing out the turrets. They're actually going to be able to do it. Okay, he's waiting for cooldowns to be up and here they go. The slow is enough and Toys is just catching up. So we're doing a lot, amounts of damage right there. Now all the healing and all the super minions walking in right now is definitely going to make many things happen. Oh, look at the amount of hits that Trundle's being. Hemo Plague does go off and... Wow. Look at the amount the of damage. damage. Yikes. Right That's here, the shield that comes off here. The, oh, the Chopo top save in his tracks right there. Toys is just going to take oh, all he's, he's going to be perfectly fine. He should be able to look at the pull Chopo. away oh, out try, of chase, Even chasing for the kill oh, right there. Perfect oh, ultimate by luck right there landing. And there goes a shutdown finally. Oh, here no. we see little boss going to fall down as well. It's, he overstayed his welcome trying to help Vladimir. So it's and not going to be a 30 minute game, it's going to be slightly longer than that. I simply because, I mean, if they chose instead to fight at the whole um, laser oh, area, if they chose to have taken out turrets, it would have gone down already by now. Um, but they instead they wanted to go for the kills. I mean, this is one of their last matches, so I, I'm guessing they want to give BB all the extra kills, toys all the other extra kills that they could possibly get out of any game. So yeah, I mean, it's going to help out in the overall score as the, the highest killer. <laughs> the highest killer, yes, definitely. So here we do see right here, BB with mistake, right? They're going to catch up Ikuoka. But, oh wow, nice jump back by Ikuoka, but here the attack is just too much. The stun does go down, but Ice Ball goes down as well, and there's no way for Ikuoka to run. There goes the quick draw. Oh, wow. Quick draw into one auto attack, and that's it. Stanley, Guardian Angel, very, very strong. Nunu stops further now for a while. Um, going to help out even more. Look, just look at the attack space, now 2.1. Um, and oh, with the quick draw, it's 2.5, so... It's just yikes. everything at the same time. Wow. It's just ridiculous uh, on what they have. Very, very ridiculous. And here we see the voice star finally being built up onto Chawi, but is it going to be enough? Will he be able to deal enough damage to burst down the opponent teams? Because in overall damage output, is only three members, which is uh, Ikuoko, Chawi as well as RY4. Okay, the question is how long can they hold this? <laughs> Quick, make an <laughs> assessment. It will end in two minutes. Two minutes? Okay. So it'll be 30, we shall see. 32 55. We shall see whether you can end in 32 55. Type here, Assassins, for the win. Let's go. Let's see what's happening. Super minutes are pushing in everywhere at this point in time. Box shots are going off everywhere. Oh, but nice, like binding though. Oh, look at how fast the crew is going down. For an Adrilla to go down that fast, that's just insane. Uh, double kill does go, but they do take out Stanley though. Um, he had a Guardian Angel, but the laser took him out, so Guardian Angel's effect was negated. I do like that. Um, the Light Binding does go off. BB possibly couldn't go down. Yes, BB does go down. The minions have respawned again. 
So we are going now into the last minute of things. <laughs> Will they be able to hold out for the additional amount of time? The Super Mian is damage. hitting all around the way. Shutdown does go down. Vladimir can't do anything. Shao is not able to do it. And in fact, it was less than a minute. I was about to, I, I, I would like to say, actually, I want to say one minute, but seeing how they went for the kills more and breaking off things. You thought it was like, a little bit extra. Yeah, they would take a okay. bit longer, but they actually charge in earlier than I expected. And there it goes. The win. For Type Assassin. Yeah. Um, one point. <laughs> Ching. Sad for me, but it was just such an interesting match overall. It, it was see. an interesting it was, match. It was very well played. Random lasers to kill <laughs> Trundle. And, and Charlie did an amazing job, I would say. Charlie's yeah. lasers, as well as those blind lasers, as well as the, the, uh, the Zonyas. The, okay, I mean, Alista did help him miss a few. I think it was not intended, uh, of course. Yeah, I think it was yeah. more of communication or not knowing exactly what's going to happen. Like, he did not know Charlie's going to hit a laser perfectly in that straight line. So he does that. Um, but in fact, let's just check out the score screen um, to see what's going on there. I mean, in terms of itemization, I did manage to get a couple of glimpses of what was going on. And for now, um, we're actually going to see that uh, Trundle, we, are, we did have the Frozen Heart. We had Spirit Visage uh, almost completing Trinity Force at the same time. Now, that was massive. For Nunu, Stark's Fervor, Eagles of the Legion, Ninja, Tabi Bot as well, Zonia's Hourglass on Vladimir, Reveron's Death Cap, almost completing um, his Will of the Ancients with 16,000 gold. That's a lot of money right there. Uh, BB farming up there, having the Last Whisper, working towards an Infinity Age, Bloodthirster fully stacked up. I mean, overall, it just went massively in their favor. Now, we look at Equivocal, he did have Trinity Force, he was going to the Guardian Angels, but just not there yet, just a little bit more to go. And at the same time, if you look at Darkness in terms of support, he did have Eagles of the Legion. He was going to a Glacial Shroud, but not able to complete it. Instead, he went for Shirelia's first, which I thought was obviously the better choice. Now, his Boots of Mobility was supposed to be more... Um, supposed to assist him appearing on the map more often, but we didn't see... He was see. on the map more often, but they couldn't land the kills that often. Yeah. Have to say. I mean, he, his presence was there but not made known to the enemy the enemy did not fear his presence and that's what's happening um so you're getting these boots instead of getting additional tankiness or additional attack speed or in case magic penetration you went for presence around but since and, you didn't have it that was and not only that he actually went for boots of mobility directly into oracles and because of the dragon fight he lost it very early and that was a 400 yep Gold wasted, and he didn't have any GP fights at that time. So it's just these things, small things that happen. Small things that happen along sure. the way. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So definitely one of the exciting matches for today. Yeah. So, uh, so this was see. the first game. It was Singapore Central vs Taipei Assassins, and they did win it. We are going to go into a short commercial break, and we will see you when we come back. Yes. So, and the second game will be Bangkok Titans vs Taipei Assassins. So we're going to see. Type Assassins, will they do it quicker this time? <laughs> uh, but for the next game, I'm actually supporting Bangkok Titans. They have made huge improvements and I want to see what's going to happen next. Definitely. So definitely. stay tuned. So stay tuned and we'll see you again later. Hey guys, this is James Raman with this week's IGM Pro League Top 5 Plays. At number 5, we have Nian subbing for Dynamic versus Mono Ferris in the IPL5 seeding matches. This may be the start to the fight, but you got Mashby out in the back, throwing down the ultimate, bringing everyone very low. There's the Oriana Orb, taking four members of Mono oh, Ferris. Oh, they with have it. them zoned. But she got him zoned, and he also got the card this AoE. Everyone clumped in. Double kill for the Corky going on, and he wants a little bit more. Cruiser and Bruiser going to be coming back up with that Guardian Angel, throwing down the leap on a Don't Mashby, going to be using his Guardian Angel too. Nian is off on the side, can't get a little bit more damage. She's got a huge rocket and Smithy running interference. Attack me, attack me, please. But you got the Valkyrie, you got Nian with the delayed triple. Paradoxical has no choice but to use the uh, Zonia's Hourglass. And there's Nian for the triple. That is a delayed Penta. At number four, Aphromoo wiping out a third of the enemy team's population, chasing down Sivir as Twitch. He picks up the first kill on Altec Ryu and then turning onto Long Lei, but he gets the tower hit. So he's a little bit low, going to have to back off one second, but he's a stealthy rat. He has no issues, comes out, pokes at Shen for a second, and then the quick burst with the expunge. He's able to pick up the kill. Coming around, he's going in Viz. Nunu didn't see him. Volt Ninja, he has no idea where he's going. I don't even think Aphromoo thinks that he can get out at this point. The quick recall, success. Coming from our RPL5 Korean qualifiers, Rapid Star pulls in at number three. 
But Lee yeah, Sin is now a race. Watch it's, is easily going to get this. It is oh, a race. Not, no, he will not. But he goes in for the Q anyway. He wants that retaliation. Here comes Katarina. Once again, the cooldown should be down. But would that be enough? Goes back in and immediately manages to take her out. But the ticks, ticks, oh ticks away. Oh, my God. Is Rapid Star going to get oh, out? Oh, the wall. The he wall. gets away from Watson. And here comes Maokai. Here comes Maokai. I can't believe that he got out of there. Number two has double lift and CLG in the IEM Singapore qualifiers. It looks like double left is gonna pop out his ultimate try and dual down Kalen is gonna pick up the kill with a nice crit and that silver bolt and still juking and getting out of there dodged all of the Lux damage got hit by the laser though the cleanse did keep him alive and now CLG are there to try and finish the job they're gonna turn on to Olaf bring him down and the top play this week Mono versus CLG in our IBL5 qualifiers Mono is actually gonna force the Baron fight there's only three members for CLG here currently it's going to turn into a 4v5 but check out Boy Boy back in his base he's actually going to be teleporting for the enemy Nexus CLG all they have to do is hold off because Mono they're not getting back in time right now Loud and Mortis subbing in he gets right in the middle of the team flashes over the wall Boy Boy takes out the first Nexus turret and now Big Fat kiting them out is able to stall Aphromoo a little bit further but Boy Boy he's actually going for the second Nexus turret no one is back yet here comes Balls trying to defend it but he has a massive minion wave Boy Boy trying to take it down for CLG. We've seen it happen from them before. He's going to be attacking, get a couple more hits. Balls is almost taking him down, has the Tiger Stance, but the flash over the Nexus. Boy Boy stalling just long enough. He actually uses his ultimate to get to the other side, pick up the Nexus turret, and there's that CLG trickery we've seen in the past for the victory. S.G.S.他们一直都是我们在 Welcome back to the Garena Premier League and this is week 20 and this is day 1 and this is game 2. And we just came back for an awesome game just now where it was the SGS against the Titan Ascent. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now we have the second game prepared for you but before we move on to that we do have a side announcement for you guys where... Oh wow I actually lost the paper right there. No worries <laughs> but before we move off just as our name show right here this is Teddy Timbers and I am Sudo. Uh, and we'll be casting for you in the next game, which will be the Bangkok Titans versus the Taipei Assassins. It's going to be pretty interesting to see what's going to happen in this um, game. We know that Taipei Assassins is known for their teamwork, known for their dominance around the way, and ending games at the 25 to 30 minute mark. The uh, Bangkok Titans in started off this GPL well very slowly. They were the, they were the underdogs, nothing much was expected of them, but recently they have been turning hits, they have been causing people to have, um, you know, pauses to have a look at them, and I think that's going to be pretty interesting to see what they have to actually do. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. It's going to be another exciting match to yep. see how well, how far BKT can take this. Will be more correct to say what happened. I think they can do pretty well. I mean, I am wagering for them to win. Uh, Bangkok Titans, I, I think they're here to shock us. So we shall see then. We shall see. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I found the paper right now. The announcement we have for you guys is actually the Discover League of Legends in Singapore has been going on since yesterday actually. Mm -hmm. And it'll be going on till over the weekend till 11th of November. And for you guys out there, what you need to do is just take a picture of LL Invasion in Singapore and upload it onto our event page in Facebook. The LA Avengers, the places you can find this, well, banners slash pictures will be the MRT, bus stops, YouTube channels, the official website, etc. And winners will be selected to win GPL playoff tickets. So from what I know is that they have, they, I think all the tickets are sold out on the spot. All, the, have, all the tickets have already been sold out except for the selected few tickets which they set uh, aside uh, for this competition. So if you're thinking of you want to go watch the playoffs, you can't buy the tickets anymore. You have to participate within uh, all these additional um, packages which they have, which is what? Discover League of Legends. So what you need to do is, you need to take a picture of League of Legends from either the bus stop anywhere around on YouTube. Mm -hmm. 
put it onto the event page on Facebook, like it yourself, and a random draw will be done from there. So, I go out there, take pictures, show your League of Legends love no. for the for the people of Singapore, mm -hmm. and you could stand a chance to win the playoff tickets. Now that comes obviously with the goodies, with your meal. The most important goodie is the Timo hat. Nothing beats that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a Timo hat is definitely one of the things. I mean, I want a Timo hat too, but I don't have a Timo hat. I'm sad. It's okay. Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm yeah. not gonna cry right there. But oh, it's going to yeah. be perfectly fine to see what's happening, so yeah. yeah so before we move, Pika's going to give you a side introduction of the players for today. BKT does have a, uh, well, side change and everything for all the overall players. And right now, he's been confirmed to these five players, yep. which is for the AD... Oh, AD carry is BKT MBM. The top laner will be BKT skills, SKLZ. Hasn't been changed yet, the error. Yep. <laughs> and the jungle will be BKT NDD. He did an amazing job, I would say, last week. Did see him play? Mm -hmm. oh, I did see him play, not you. I did see him be playing <laughs> as well. Uh, we do have Zerus on support and Leah on AP carry, so... I so, mean, the, the lineup looks pretty good. I will have to, at the same time, I just add something, is that they have the oldest team for GPL, maybe. You mean they have the oldest amount of players, you mean? The oldest players. <laughs> the no, oldest no. amount of players, are. No, I was not sure how to survive. <laughs> You you said that they're the oldest team. I'm like, uh, I mean, like oldest in terms of like overall age. Yeah, in terms of overall age, um, <laughs> yeah, please, only Zarus is 19. The rest of them are all above 20. So we're gonna see does age come with wisdom and skills? Does oh, wisdom come with age? Does age come with wisdom? Doesn't matter. Are you sure? I don't yes. Know. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, right there. So we do have, you see that we'll be on the Bangkok Titans side. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, it was some strategies they actually come up with to counter against Taipei Assassins. Um, this will be the second last game that they ever played. This will be the last game that Taipei Assassins plays for GPL Season 1 until they go to the playoffs. So they have secured a spot right there. And if they do, if Taipei Assassins does win this, they're going to win with a 95% win rate. GPL Staggering season. amount. Just staggering. Go just staggering. On. Here we're gonna see. This is gonna be the last match. So I believe that uh, TPA will be uh, won't be putting any strings. Yeah. They want to show their dominant force and just use this as a practice match before they move on to the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, they they, they don't really want to like give it all up. Like I, I don't see a reason why they should even give it all up. Um, especially just like oh let's just give Bank of Titans a win. Like yeah, I don't think they're gonna do that. But I want to see though. Will they come up with like a Yordle team or Pentakill team like? Like, they don't have to take it super, super seriously, but it will be fun if it's like a Yodel team appears. The Yodel, Yodels actually have enough champions to make a Yodel team yeah. that fit the lanes. And we did see that happen, and they played it very well. It wasn't it wasn't throw picks and all the things like that, but it was, it was actually okay. very strong. Yep. I mean, it, it was good. I want to see actually what happens. Uh, Whether something of that nature will actually come up. Noxus versus the Marcia or something. Um, yeah, I mean, commando it could be like, outfits. oh no, it could be yeah, our commando outfits, all the ninjas come out, or all, all, all face covering champions, like, yeah, I mean, that could be really fun. Um, or they could be doing, I don't know, all the, um, Iodians Halloween or Halloween skins, skins. <laughs> like, you know, that, that could be really Maokai. Maokai skin is just too good for this Halloween. It's my favorite skin right now. Really? Yes. <laughs> just I so mean, cool. I, I, I like it. Boom songs. Yeah, I like his little sapling. <laughs> <laughs> his little sapling is like, oh my god, he's scurrying everywhere. Yes, yeah, Maokai's sapling is just like, I would say it's cuter than Demo. I mean, though it's ugly looking, it's cuter than Demo. I mean, he, his normal sapling is very cute. Like, I think when I first started playing League of Legends, like, I fell in love with Maokai because I saw somebody throwing his sapling. I was like, oh, then boom, it exploded in front of me. I'm like, oh, okay, wait, I should stay away from these things. <laughs> and that's when I learned everything in League of Legends that is cute. It's bad for you. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> it has like a global taunt as well as it's just gonna break your heart. <laughs> it's just gonna break your heart. It entices you and then it's like, Ugh! why, why, right there. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, it's gonna be pretty interesting. Like I said, to yes. see what's gonna happen. Um, predictions. Predictions. Let's just mention first. Uh, for TV side, there won't be any member change, so it's gonna be the strongest five that we're playing out as well. And predictions will be. I would have to say twenty five minutes. Okay. What about quicker? What do you think about Kolalin? Kolalin has not shown her face in a while now. What's going on with her? What do you think? Kolalin, uh, even though she hasn't been showing her face off that much, but she still has been uh, playing a lot of games, playing very hard, training very hard, I believe. So 
We we'll just have to see when she really does appear in the end. How strong is she? Has Mystic been doing a good job? I'll have to say, <laughs> teaching her how to play support. And right now, we're going to move into the Champions Nation as it has begun. So here we go. Second game of the night. Last game for TPA for this GPL Season 1. Alright, uh, of course, excluding the playoff. <laughs> we're going to see what's going to happen and who is going to win. And here we go. BKT versus TPA. Yep. Uh, in terms of BKT versus TPA, our first ban out there, Oriana. Nobody wants to deal with Oriana. It's, it's, Nobody wants to deal with toys having whatever he just wants. So yeah, his his Oriana was played so well. Like his teams, his teammates were pushing into the mid, but then he just used his ball to the right hand side to stop people from coming in. Use shock way to stop them from moving forward and the slow and everything like that. He's doing. He does a very good job with it for Oriana overall. I like how people are saying Kolali is playing Amstar. <laughs> it's Kolali is like the team mascot right <laughs> now. So yeah, just have a girl on the team. No need to play. <laughs> um. Yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see what's happening uh, to her. Um, and in terms of things, they have Blitzcrank being banned out. Um, he just don't want to deal with the polls, I'm guessing. Uh, but Katrina, so once again, Katrina is banned out by Taipei Assassins. Um, so yeah, I mean, Morgana's being banned out. Another AP champion. All targeted towards toys, maybe? No, uh, all targeted towards toys, true. But I would say, like, banning Jax out would be a good thing. But banning Dr. No. Mundo and... Evelyn, hmm. Because did play Mundo. I mean, did play Evelyn, did they? Rank up being instant wow. lock? Uh, is it going to be a jungle? Is, or this, top is this the tournament uh, realm that's been updated or is this uh, before the update? It's before. So this is still the strong Rengar? Yes. Okay, here we go. We have Evelyn is still strong in this patch. Uh, Evelyn is still strong. Oh, their Firegrass has not been nerfed yet mm -hmm. here as well. Aha! Uh -huh. That would make a little bit more sense right now. Um, it would be interesting to see Renga, Renga jungle, Renga top. Well, be more interesting. Interesting if they do use, use him as a jungler and then they do pick out Zillion as an AP mid. Mm -hmm. As you see, still doing MLG Dallas like a Majin Sword strategy. Oh, that was massively damaging. It it wrecked. It just it charged just wrecked. it. Oh my! Renga just di just dived the tower with two bombs on his head, damaging the AP mid. You can't have two bombs on your head. Okay, guess okay. Well, first one first, then force it to go off, and then the second. Yeah, the one. second one, and then if anything gets a little bit too sticky, Zilla just puts Chrono Shift on you, and you just come back to life and be perfectly fine. That was just ridiculous. Um, to see what's happening. Should we see in response? We have Jace being taken out. Easy at the same time. So okay, that's quite standard. Um, the, the boss has been staying away from Maokai, Mundo, Amumu, like. Support heavy. Uh, I mean, Lisi is at least in China can you still can call them support type champions, but they need different itemization. Yes, the itemization is a little bit different, right? I need to be more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he seems to be staying away from those things and be playing more aggressive uh, junglers. I uh, like the fact that uh, Maokai may be, yes, Maokai in fact is going to be locked in, so I like Maokai, so Renga's going to be on top. So, um, no, I highly doubt Zillion is going to appear here now. With that being said, though, but oh, it still could happen. Mama Kai dives in like a boss. <laughs> I mean, the, the root does go in. <laughs> I mean, the root onto a bola shot is going to be interesting. Um, but on the same time, look, just look at the amount of CC that's going on here. We have bola shot. We have snares. We have um, now Zyra coming on the other side there with her roots. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Hmm. I mean, uh, right now. Koreans favor Zyra support more. So they they favor aggressive supports. They favor Shen supports. They prefer Zyra support as compared to, for instance, like Sona and Janna. <gasps> it's gonna be BB playing AD carry Jace and Nidali at oh no, mine's gonna be Aiden. Wait, no, come on. <laughs> is it <laughs> which is it gonna be? And it's gonna be Desus actually right there. Uh -huh. Desus we use against Rengar. This is gonna be a Interesting match. I would have very, seen. very few matches have I ever seen a Nessus versus oh, this a is my second. I mean, I mean, okay, this is second time, I believe second oh, time, wow. Nessus came out to GPL, I would have to say. Yeah, but this is the first time against a Renga, no? Yes, definitely. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Will he be able... I, mean, I guess it's going to be a farm fast right on top there. Siphoning strike with a Vampiric Scepter. And be like, I'll, I'll smack you, you smack me and we'll be fine We're smacking each other. Oh, shit, we wow. see. oh wait 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 wait. And Lulu 
Rengar support, Lulu AP mid. Oh, never mind. Okay. Some switches going off. Are they going to go for double AD? They, if they do go, that's going to be interesting. Uh, it's half a win because oh, it looks like it, Lulu mid Nautilus support. support? Nautilus jungle Maokai support. Oh, wow. uh, uh, no, it's going to be Lux, so <laughs> okay, it makes things clear right now. Damn, if only it was the other way around. It would be interesting to see. Um, definitely, definitely. Very interesting to see. And here, the last pick for the AP mid. Is it going to be Velamir once again against Lux? Or is it going to be... Oh, is it going to be, it's going to be Gragas this time? Mm, I wouldn't actually take Gragas, no. Oh, Annie, please take Annie. I like Annie. Uh, Someone me, please. Annie, Annie <laughs> or Melzaha, like, yeah, that would be interesting. Nah. Timo, Vladimir. <laughs> Can it be a Timo? Oh my god. Oh, Victor, high poke, Vega, high burst. Lots of CC as well coming up from him. His AoE stun. It's going to be interesting though. Um, hmm. I don't. Cassopia. Somebody just picked Cassopia. <laughs> no, she doesn't exist anymore in this game. <laughs> Nobody likes the snake girl anymore. <laughs> okay, we're going to see Twister Fate most probably being picked up. Being able to spot Vanga even though he goes invisible. Quite a good pick, I'll have to say as well. Yeah, but it's not all that interesting. Oh, like, oh, I want unconventional oh. things, uh, and it is going to be two okay, you, you have one already. You have an AD, AD carry Jace, not played that much by a lot of people, mm -hmm. as well as you have the Nasus at top. What if it's going to be an AD carry Nasus? No, what did they are not even solving champions. AP Nasus. Oh, uh, no, true enough. Oh, it is going to be an AD carry. Uh, Jace. Oh, wow. Um, Jace Zyra versus Lulu Graves? With two teleports? What's the promote? <laughs> okay, so Graves is in a lot of trouble. It's favoring Ignite over Flash? I don't know. I just, it, my mind is bamboozled. Like, what's going on? Uh, I, I, uh, uh, there's so there's gonna be so much gangs happening at bottom just because you don't have flash, you're gonna get punished for that. I, mean, I have to say. That is, if he's at the bottom, lane swap. I mean, even if he goes to top, it's the same thing. <laughs> I mean, just, just that they come out and he teleports down, right? they play this whole, you know, I'll chase you, you chase me around the place there. Yeah, but Lulu wow. has that well, and that teleport cooldown is so quick, doesn't say, doesn't like, can't do it instantly. I don't know, okay. Let's just have a quick look at what Stanley's running on Asus. And right there we have move speed, magic resist, armor, and armor penetration. Okay, pretty pretty standard for an Asus. And for the mastery, it's actually gonna be one twenty one eight. So you just want mana regeneration right there and basically almost everything going into the um Defensive tree, so okay. favoring favoring cooldown exists over armor. Yeah, against Rengar. Hmm. Well, I'm guessing you know Rengar's gonna go there and do magic. A lot of oh, people uh, go. I mean, a lot of people go for W. Them, yeah. yeah, not many people max um his ferocity anymore. Is that what he's called? It's a savage. He's savage. Sa yes. Is savagery or savage? Bro? Oh, he gains ferocity. He gains ferocity. Yeah, sounds yeah, like yeah, savagery. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so interesting, interesting things happening all over. And here's just look at BB. For his AD carry, is he going to play something different? And mm -hmm, about the same. So he has some mana regeneration. He this a lot. Like, I, he even uses this rune set for Corky. Yep. He, I mean, he just wants... Because these are all caster AD carries, he needs it out there. And true enough, it is 7 points into um, utility, just, utility, just, just for the extra mana regeneration. Uh, many people actually have been doing that simply because they want the additional mana regeneration and they realize that when they have all this extra mana regeneration, they can make so much things happen simply because they can sustain in lane so much longer by dealing so much more damage out there and outpoking people. Yes, but MVM goes for a more conventional style where he goes for 21 offense and 9 defense. Mm -hmm. Like this is the things that people go for. Like they do have more health in terms of trading hits if the trading of hits starts happen early game. They will have the advantage, but then when when the thing prolongs, they won't have enough mana. They won't have enough mana. That's the thing. Um, let's just have a quick look at what Ranga is using, Sorry. and I just want to see whether he actually goes magic resist and any sort of thing or magic penetration, magic resist as per normal, uh, per level eighteen as well. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. It's a mixed trade there because they do uh -huh. gain up quite a bit because the last even if you put the last three slots as flat magic resist, he gets gets twelve. 
Mm-hmm. And then like in terms of top lane Nasus doesn't do that much magic damage in the early stage. So I think it's fine. Let's check out the Masteries and 921. So this is more standard, more interesting out there. Instead of taking um, magic penetration, taking armor penetration oh, instead. He's probably going to max his first skill first. Yeah, he looks like he's going to max his savagery, so that's good. Um, that will actually count out Nasus a bit because Nasus is going for more magic reduction instead of armor reduction. Uh, just slightly, just slightly. I mean, just slightly out there, but I mean, when, for instance, he stacks up to a quite a significant amount, um, it's definitely going to go into his favor right there. So, yeah. I quite like that for the side of Bangkok Titans. I mean, I am supporting them for this game. I think they have a good chance um, to make something happen. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And here we see this matchup. And right now, I would still have to say in the favor of TPA, even though they took Nessus. Nessus does need a lot of time to farm up, but we will see. This game might not be as fast as I would hope for, maybe. Mm, I don't know. It, it, I, I still think it, it is possible. Depends on how. It depends on toys right now, actually. Yeah. And little boss, when they gank, how successful it is, and how many shutdowns it would take. How many kills overall? People, people are rooting for BKT out there. They, they're saying they want BKT to get two more wins. This is your last chance. I mean, yeah. I'm rooting for them as well. But let's just go into game right now and we can see um, what's going to be happening. Yeah, so we do see uh, the pings going off and that's where it is. Um, so the pings are going there and they can see many different things uh, going across the map. So yeah. Um, <laughs> just managing things out there. So yeah. Um, looks like the invade's not going to happen, they just are going to walk around and pretty much be the same across the places. Um, I like how the Taipei Assassins are walking very much as a team, but Bangkok Titans are a little bit scattered compared to them. Now, could something be happening? I don't know, this is going to be pretty interesting to see. Uh, could they possibly come in here for a ward? Lia's coming in. Gold card is already right there. The binding does go off. Everybody is flashing away. I think DP goes very, very low. He does change out there, but the stun does go off onto skills. Skills is going very low as well. And the first best is going to go down to Lulu. Lulu getting there because of the ignite uh, from NVM. But the gold card does go off now. And NVM is very low. BB get caught up once again by like binding. Very good. Going to the favor of Bangkok Titans. I like the fact that they were waiting there. The gold card did go down and stun out Lux. But Lux still returned back onto the light binding. And that's what helped them out. And there was 600 gold being taken. Minions mm -hmm. have spawned. Oh. It was all the additional assist goal that went on to things as well. I mean, they just need to go back, heal up, and they come back into lanes now with additional items, additional walls, additional pots, oh. and it's going to go into their favor. I mean, Lulu started that off, and I mean, she just went back and gotten more wards, and she went again to get the boots. So, yeah. Overall, the advantage for early game, that fight, definitely in the favor of BKT. As for Zyra, she needs the two levels in order to be effective. She, she needs her plants and her Nasus yeah. at the same time needs more level to be effective in terms of overall damage output. Yep. Uh, it was also the fact that Bengal Titans was very clustered together and they managed to immediately launch out all the attacks out there, so yeah. I thought like Lux was alone, but he was just the bait. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the thing is they didn't even see her right there. Um, it was only when she struck her light binding where did she become revealed. So that's good. Uh, oh, the binding does go off again, so getting a little bit of free hits out there. Um, Leah against Toy, so I mean... I like it. I, I like this opening quite a bit. Um, the, the trade's going back and forth between skills and Stanley, so... Which um, will sustain better and do more damage? That is the question at the top lane. Uh, at this point in time, I would say go to Rengar because Rengar can heal up. Nasus has no way of healing up aside from his pots. Are you crazy? His passive gives him... His siphoning strike? No. Oh, his passive. What's his passive called? Tell us. Let's show the audience now. Okay. What's his passive is all about? His passive is all about Soul Eater, 14% bonus lifesteal. How can you say there's no other sustain except for pots? Suffering Strike is just the thing that gives him the extra, extra hit. Oh, extra well. attack there. My bad, my so, bad. So, that's why Nessus is OP. In normal trades, the Suffering Strike just grants back like oh, maybe so much health back, but at the same time, his normal hits gives back a lot of health. So that's why in terms of trade, if you stand and fight, Nessus will normally not lose. Like, will normally win, let's put it that way. <laughs> 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 oh well, no worries there. Um, 
But I do like the fact that even though it was a 600 goalie, it's not really going out there. Skills won't be able to escape, not from this though. Yikes. And um, you can see that Little Boss waited for a very, very long time before landing his resonating strike. Like he used it to land first and just, just waited uh, for the Gold card so gonna stop mad out there but not be able to do much of anything though. Uh, but the pokes are coming out here right from the bottom. They are trying to make something happen. Chipping away the tower. Lulu actually, I like Zara's play on Lulu. Being very aggressive, poking she, everyone she out. Have, she does have the advantage to be that aggressive. She did get the first kill, so she has the extra boot, extra mobility right there. In oh, comparison to Zyra. To Zyra. Yeah. yeah. Which is helping her quite a bit, I would have to say. So yeah, so this game is just going to move on slowly, but you can see, just because of the kill right there, Oh, like, Polybuff does go off. Oh, so low. Nice. The NVM gets the kill, but he needs to escape. Oof. Yes, the there's final a bloom. Oh, does he misses uh -huh. that. He does miss oh. that. Oh, nice smoke canister coming out there. Um, the sight is now on him, and he could make something happen. Oh, very nice there coming down. Um, Leah did not actually need to come down there to actually assist out, but that went into the favor. Resonating Strike was a little bit slow out there. Uh, not catching out Grave, so it's 3 to 1 now, and good job, Bangkok Titans. I, I like the fact they're taking early dominance. With, with their champions, they really do need to take uh, more early dominance, I would have to say, especially with Maokai. Dominance. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> you said some weird abbreviation uh, on that. No, because my tongue was tight just now, so I was like. Uh, it was oh, fun. nice! But, getting uh, caught once again. They're very low on two toys. Toys can't do much of anything. The red buff will be proking, and NDD does get a kill. Four to one right now. Come on, Bangkok Titans, make a strong showing. Make something happen right here. Bola shot gets thrown out. Oh no! In fact, it's going to be a raw instead. Um. Oh come on! I I, I like the fact that they are uh, a hit. It is one thousand hit now. One thousand one hundred a hit. So it's. Helping that out, but Lee Sin is trying to counter jungle and he's in fact succeeding right there. So it looks like there's going to be a little small little soiree at the bottom with Lee Sin going to come in there. But will they be able to spot him out in terms of anything going to happen? No, he's in fact going to jump onto the ward so that they don't even know that the golems were taken. And at this point in time, Maokai, let's just have a quick look at the itemization. Maokai Boots of Mobility is helping out. Lee Sin has not gone back to buy yet. Chalice of Harmony already onto Lux. Twisted Fate with Chalice of Harmony as well, mirroring what's happening right there. Higher, Lulu, much higher, yes. Yes. Lulu having the Philosopher's Stone already. Zara has not gone back and bought things here. And Graves versus Jace. Graves has the advantage with the Berserker Greaves. Yes. I like that. Oh, 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 wow. Well, very good use of the Glitter Lance, in fact. Uh, placing it onto Zyra and then aiming it so that it was a two point. Oh, oh look at the flash with the oh, exhaust going down. They're gonna get this kill, definitely. Oh, the flash does go off yet oh. again, another time. Um, Slow from the Glitter Lance. To the skies. No, he's gonna actually. Oh, Ludus gonna actually block it all away. And Toys looks like he's gonna get caught up once again. Destiny does come out. Will he? Oh, nope. They will not be able to actually get him. He does port to safety. Now, they do know that he is there. Um, and they could be doing something, but no, you're going to go for race, in fact, and he did start to teleport back. Lee Sin is dancing around at the bottom and on top, everybody is... It's just action everywhere. It's just action happening everywhere. It's just... It's just ridiculous, and I, I think this match is just insane. Uh, Nasus now has a slight advantage. Nasus does have quite a bit of mana to do things, uh, and the creeps are still in a favor. Here, oh, wow. skill spike goes down, but he uses his ultimate to go invisible, and Stanley is just using his ghost. He's going to find where is this hidden beast, but... You know, off to move back, it's continue far. Very nice use of both the ultimates, in fact. Um, both using them just to make sure that uh, one wanted to secure the kill, one wanted to escape from the kill. So, I like the fact that Leah's being able to catch toys out, especially with the help of NDD. And not only that, he planted the ward in the mid lane so that even though his scripts are being pushed, he, will know he knows whether what's happening, whether yes. he's where he's actually there. Yeah. Whether he's actually there, where he went off to, try to be more ca be careful of, of, of all the I mean, th this is, I would say, very, very strong play. I mean, if they had started off GPL with this sort of play, the ladder will not be the same as it is now. The, the scores will not be the same. That's very, very for, for That's sure. That's definitely true. So now both teams just moving into the 8 minute mark. is getting the, their own blue bars respectively to the mid lanes. Still holding on to the 1k lead. I like that. So that means in terms of farm, it's just about the same. 800. 800. <laughs> so I'm going to be very picky about this. Very picky just because it's spotting Typhi Assassins for this side. No worries there. Uh, they do have a little bit of advantage. I think they can continue to take more uh, small bits of advantages here than everywhere. So. And not only that, yeah. we can see that Nasus against uh, 
bring out at top. Just the help of Lee Sin just one time that gank in the early stage. He has put Nasus so far ahead as well as being able to buy better items in order for him to win into the lane. Here's a Philosopher's Stone as well as a Chalice of Harmony. This is going to continue farming. Here we see a fight going on. The bind goes down. The soul keeps going on to MBM. And here they will get the kill. They took the kill as they saw that Zeras just went to plant oh, the pot right oh, here. And here they see he's going to move back. Maybe he goes for the bike. Go down. Oh, to, wow. Oh, oh my yes, last. Right there, the acceleration oh, game right there. Running away. I mean, that, that was very, very close. I, acceleration gate was not there. They could have definitely gone into their favor. Uh, Maokai tried to make something happen here as well. And it looks like the gold card has already been picked. Will Destiny actually be used uh, to make something happen? The things does go down. Uh, they do have lots of wards, so, and they do know that Zara is actually hiding within that brush right there. So they just want to clear up the creep wave so that they don't hit, receive too much damage. They are pinging onto Lee Sin, so they do know that Lee Sin is there as well. So much of action. Much action. Oh, so uh, much Rengar's coming oh, in. Oh, Rengar's oh, bola oh, shot going in. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there, but okay. But uh, the stun cut. Uh, the stun cut once again. The gold card being uh, picked up, but in this time, it, it pretty much just was like a trade of hits rather than a, a super aggressive. Rengar did use his raw, so he was a bit more tanky, and he didn't do enough damage overall. Yeah. Um, but the wards are still being placed down there, so they do know that Zara is hiding down there. Look at Lulu being aggressive. I like this play. I like when supports are aggressive. Um, <laughs> the only reason why <laughs> um, Teddy is looking at me that way is because when I play aggressive supports, he doesn't quite like it. He likes he, it. He chose the game for me. Anyway, here we see right there all the uh, ultimates going out. Good the help fine up. right there. I mean, sorry, good knocked out right there by Zara hitting both up. But here, oh. because of the land key. Oh! Can't actually miss us just by a smidgen. I thought it was, I thought it was a definite hit right there. Okay, apparently not. But here we uh, see smidgen. they go for the bot tower. Malkai is at the top lane. He's gonna faster travel down to the bot as they might be wanting the blue dragon after the taking on the bottom tower. So definitely they need to move fast and move quick. And here we see he's gonna clear on the creeps, but they're unable to take down the tower. They can't take on the tower. Just waiting for the creep. We have to come back in. Oh, uh, gonna fall back. They don't want to take the tower just yet, but look, uh, in the mid, I don't think, I don't think so. They can take even take out the. I'm gonna take about it's half out, more than half out on the tower. Here we see Venga jumping in, gonna heal the damage back up. Nessus is walking back to the tower range. Not gonna. gonna uh, to, be, to be very honest, I think that he should not have uh, used his five stacks uh, in terms of his battle draw. He should have used it uh, on his ferocity instead. Oh, not really, not really. Like he would have dealt more damage, I believe, rather than just drawing yeah, simply he, because he, he had full health. No, he wasn't at full health. He was. Did I see it wrongly? I thought he lost quarter. He was uh, quarter. Uh, he lost quarter health. Did I see that wrongly? Okay, maybe I, I got it wrong as well. Oh, but look at this! Oh. The king actually <laughs> assisting <laughs> mine. What in the world is going on here today? Uh, he just flashed up, but Leo's a little bit slow in terms of the flash, though. But he was a bit slow. He was waiting for the Brazilian strike to finish off, and he only chose the flash after that. But I was really too late. He was too late for it. Oh my it's god! Was just controlling his skills, using it at the right time, not just spamming me off right there, catching oh. off. Say. Good job. That was just ridiculous. The kick onto Twisted Fate just as Leah throws the bind. <laughs> <laughs> this amazing place throughout the match once again yeah. for this game. Fair. Both not only just by BKT but also by TPA and TPA catching up with the overall kills and yes, they are taking just a, taking the slight advantage. <laughs> yeah. And here we see oh the top lane every that action is going on all around and both junglers actually taking up boosts of mobility right there. Lisi knowing that Malka is going to be where, go where he pleases. He just sticks up the extra moves on mobility and to be safe. Wow. And here we go again going on to bottom once again. But I'm going to aim for the Lulu right there. And here we see Lia take for bottom air to the bottom. Oh, nice kill right there to Zyra. Uh, Zyra. Zyra has a Kamikaze attack and hits on to Lia right there. So it goes 2 to 1 exchange. And here we are going to might dive the tower. No, no, no. Maokai is there though. Maokai yes. could make something happen. Um, Skill trying to make something happen on top. Taking all the turret hits. Oh my. Stanley doing a good job. Like, yeah. I think skills raw, raw or Ola strike Stanley, that's why the tower aggroed him. Yep. Yeah. And then he just slowed him, and there was like just massive amount of hits being taken down. Uh, it looks like they are going to transition to into Dragon right now. I mean, this is the opportune time for them. So we do see that Wildcard being thrown out there, getting a little bit of mana onto Toys, and mm, uncontested Maokai is a little bit out of position. He does throw the that's sapling. It helps to damage the Dragon, and there goes the spike. <laughs> and there goes the spike. I mean, it's a good thing he tried to scout, but he's. His flash was up. He could try have tried to steal it, but he would have died. And it might not be. It won't be. It's not such a good trade overall. Yeah, I mean, but better to be a little bit safe than to be sorry along the way. So yeah. Uh, okay, then I change my opinion. He needed to do that because the goal defense is now tricky. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still think that's fine. Um, and yes, here we see the blue up once again being taken by both sides. 
as you you know transitioning slowly into the mid early mid game, I would have to say. Yeah. And both teams just being very wary about when the gangs who is coming out, what is going to happen. Because Maokai boots of mobility can dive tower as well with the help of teammates. But Lee yes. also countering with boots of mobility, it's going to be able to travel just as fast as he can. Triple Dorrit is very effective. It's Health, lifesteal. As know, well as damage. damage. Yeah. Uh, 3 damage for Lee Sin is a huge hit, I would have to say. And here we see Stanley once again going to poke all the skills. Skills going to ignore him, but how long can he do that? Look at his armor going down with the overall aura. And here we see Stanley just giving him oh, the hurt. Oh, skills actually starting to attack and receiving the tower hits. Uh, I don't think she have done that now. The minions are doing that as well, but <laughs> attack, but the, the minions all die. That's why the tower changed target. But here we see Stanley using his ultimate right there. He's going to be able to get the kill definitely with the help of Horus. And now they're going to move on to NDD and he just got his Oracle. And this is one of the things I hate, you know. As a jungle, once you find the Oracle and you just... Everybody get, loves you. Everybody loves you. And just going to go down and just going to Everybody die. wants a piece of you. Yeah. And everybody it's, wants to leave you in pieces as well. It's, oh. like, it's like how... It's like how... Um, I use Maokai, I like, okay, boost of mobility, Floss of Stone, it's time to devour. Run into the lane, oh, I need to help my, I need to help the lane, and I die. And I die. Yeah. 400 go, going down the drain, it's like, it's so, it's so painful for a jungler in this, in this current meta, as you, in farming in the jungle does not give you that much money. No, that's true. That's, um, all the gangs going season off. 3 and see what's going to happen right there, I mean. Yeah, definitely. But with all the gangs going off, we do see that, uh, the mid lane, Lia manages to break the tower, and now he has more freedom to move away, but here he gets caught, actually. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah. The ward spots him moving down to help bottom lane and they And they responded and immediately. Just, you guys catching me out there. Perfect job overall by TPL I'll have to say. And here they see the fight for Is that pink? Oh there's a pink. That is a pink uh, one. Oh here look oh, at the nice. Boots. Everybody's going and in. You see fight being caught right here. Skills is there as well. The Bora shot just grabs in nice. there. Good Five job six. there. Possibly Good. gonna go into Zyra onto Jace. Here the extension uh, kit is going to be enough for them to run away yep. from the slow But they might not be able to take up this raid We'll go on to BKT either to NDD or NVM But you know we actually see them walk right back in like a boss right there They're still not going to give this up at all So they want to try to make something happen right here uh, Oh Lulu just blocks a shot right there uh, Good job there, I mean I like this teamwork, the support is really supporting the <laughs> team blocking the hits for the AD carry we all have to say yep. Good job there, I mean Zerus, um, definitely my eyes on you Oh look, look at here, look oh, at here Oh no Oh, the action going on. You can see oh, some lasers does go off. Lasers go off and all the things going on around the map. The nice mistake. Oh, nice mistake. Oh, that much physical damage just being taken off right there. Overall, there goes the overall burst right there. With Double this kill does go off. And just look at what Stanley is doing. Sorry, I jumped to there because I saw there was more interesting. He's just going to walk past everything. And while wow, skills in response to that is just gonna try to take down the turret, but he does not have enough damage. He's gonna force the fall back right there, and not he and uh, he gets gain no advantage whatsoever. He gain no advantage, but he still can push out the lane. I mean, he definitely can make something happen. It's simply because he realized that Nessus was there blocking all his creeps from reinforcing coming out there. So he's gonna do the very same thing. Oh, but <laughs> what's gonna happen now is that Stanley is Stanley coming. Is Walking through the towers. I mean, I would say that skills didn't do the same thing because he, oh, 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 he, he just stank the tower. Like he, he didn't go and do what Stanley did just to clear the minions off. He tried to take down the tower, but he is. But he failed. He failed. He needs two the ones made a Kinder Gem. It's not, not enough. enough. And he maxes his. And he has inside, and his mercury shreds as well. So I mean, that's not helping. Yeah, he actually, he maxes his raw first right there. So. That raw doesn't do damage to the tower. So yeah. it's, I mean, level one. Uh, sorry, at the try. tower does not make it weak. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Does not make it weak at all. Make it weak at all, definitely. Uh, so here we see. Uh, well, the game might last longer than I expected. Maybe, just maybe, or maybe it will end in this eight minutes. As we do see that all the towers, well, not all the towers, like more, but okay. Stanley is just not hitting towers. Just totally farming at the top. Uh, he thing. just wants to farm. I mean. So yeah, he just wants he's to farm. He's on the cycling strike right there, look at that. Just letting the towers do all the hits, he's gonna walk through everything once again right there. And just totally ignore. Stanley is just totally free farming. Oh, Zara, just get caught out there. Rengar's ferocity, oh nice job there. Oh, the wild grove does help. Mistake does get taken out. Lee Sin now is the next target right up there. Lulu gonna make something happen. Very nice job there. Double kill onto Rengar, great. I like that. Yes, I but, like they're, but, but they're, they're still not, not stopping the main threat later when trying to Nasus. end game, which is Nasus. Nasus. Nasus is just being allowed to farm. I mean, as much as they are catching up in kills, they are trying to catch up in gold now and think of that sort. 
Nessus is still a very big problem which they need to deal with, which, you know, hasn't been. She's just gonna walk into the area, just found a branch, and she's gonna fight with the market. Look at the oh, damage oh, right there. Oh, wow. just quarter health being hey, dealt. Just the check and see if Siphoning Strike how okay, much wait, 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 let's see the NDD diapers, maybe. Oh, no, Sally knows that he has to run, and here we see Siphoning Strike right now doing. Wow. About 500 plus physical damage, almost 600. 600 damage. 560, 573 physical damage. 573 physical damage in every hit. And, and, and the cooldown for it is? Three seconds, I think. Wait, give me a moment. Let me move back to Stanley. And here we are. The cooldown is just. Oops, wrong, wrong scale. Three cooldown is 3.35 seconds. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and at the same time, his, the blues, the blue side represents how many minions have killed. Each minion kills with something strength is three damage, and it's at three hundred sixty-five. So it can kill about hundred and twenty plus minions just using. Just siphon. using his siphoning strike. And he's only at hundred sixty-eight CS. Like, he, 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 wow, oh, look at wow, that! Look, look at that! Buy Eddie, one of the bad no, things for using Hawkeye. Oh, but he is actually fine. The whole team comes to support him, and now they're forcing. Uh, he should have shut off his uh, arcane maelstrom straight away. Um, so the route actually does go down to NVM, so um, securing a little, that little bit of safety right there, but the ultimate does go down. Will it be a baller shot? No, it's going to try to go onto Lil Balls, uh, trying to make something happen there, but no, the Wild Roof was just not enough whatsoever. At the same time now, uh, NVM getting caught out. Wild cards does get thrown out. Destiny is open. At the same time, Lulu's going to get bursted down. Leah most likely is going to get as well. It looks like it's going to be an ace, but no, Leah actually does manage to escape. Oh, Nessus is just going to It's going to come up right there. He does have the cooldown reduction. Acceleration. Acceleration. Oh, that's yeah. it. Wow, just charging in. What? What? Trying to run? What? <laughs> this one what that was? <laughs> Unreal! Yes, and here we go, this might be it. They will take down, I mean, not my not uh, Andy, they but they will take down the inhibitor. Look at the damage, the siphoning strike onto the tur tyrant right there. Wow, huge chunk just wow. off every few seconds. Another huge chunk coming up very right soon, and there it goes. Half health onto the inhibitor. Uh, looks like they won't be able to take it. Oh, the f why did he flash? Uh, that was an odd flash. Uh, but. What? Look at Stanley. Oh, Stanley's a Oh, look at. Oh, look at the damage. That damage is disgusting. Disgusting. Are you sure? Oh my god. <laughs> like, I'm looking at it. I need to take a shower. Like, oh. <laughs> that feels wrong. Like, jeez. But here we see DBS playing AD carry for uh, Jace. Going for Iron Boots, a cooldown, most important. Yes. Overall, switching the stance as well as over burst damage being dealt out. And going for Brutalizer and Blood Surge. A, a very good job, as you can see. He's just totally bursting down the opponent's Maokai as well as. Uh, dirty. Every time I see the life pass disappear, it's like, what sorcery is this? We're just bad at this. We're just bad. You haven't seen. This is just the beginning. He hasn't gotten his Trinity Force yet. The Sheen Frog hasn't happened oh, yet. Well, when the Sheen Frog happens, that's going to be. Oh, God. It's just yeah. going to be total. Total. It's shut going up. to be total rape. That's what it's going to be. Yes. Yeah. Just oh. walk in. Ghost. Oh, Lux. One hit. Half life. Okay. I'll switch targets. Now. Like three quarter life. <laughs> <laughs> One whack out there. <laughs> You will see when it transitions to that point. Imagine if he gets like Baron addition on top of it, like, oh god. Imagine when it used to be in the old meta where you used to get like Atmas Impaler. <laughs> oh, wow. Actually, we do see here Toys Pick get caught right here. Uh -huh. He's like, does go down. Toys oh, go yeah. down oh, very quickly. That's right a there. very big Rengar. But that's a lot of ultimates, and Nasus is just like, yeah, you can kill my teammates. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just gonna. It's fine. I'll just pop. Pop. And here, pop. it's almost about. It's gonna be like. Oh, 417, that's like it's, it's 620 plus damage, physical damage right there. It's over 600 damage now being dealt in. Per hit. Not to forget, he has armor penetration runes. Yep. At the same time. And look, uh, oh, hit the tower, come on. Oh, I know you want to farm minions, it's more important than show us the tower damage right now, and there it goes. Oh. Just one more, one more, just one more. Oh, there it oh, goes. Oh my god, no, I feel this. Okay, that's like, yeah, close to him. No, oh my and god. Look, and then the soul goes oh, down, it's just walking. Wow. 40 more does happen, but Stanley it's is just. It's just like, not enough. It's making me cute, it's fine. <laughs> oh, jeez. And let's look at oh. the hit. Damage, oh. oh. After Dude. the armor. From that is just like, hi, hey, hey guy. I mean, that was in Vengeful Maelstrom. That was supposed to be with the <laughs> the damage reduction. What insanity is this? Gosh! It's time to sell the. It's, it's time to sell your mobility boots and buy a ninja target. You know you won't survive. Yeah.
This is tons of damage being dealt out. Tons and tons of damage, even without the that trinity. Not, that's not tons, that's like... Okay, the trinity force is just tons, like... Already. Let's just take a look at the gold difference right here. See Stanley at 10k in 23 minutes right there compared to Renga 6.7k only. Overall, the gold, it's just obvious. Twister Fate landing all the kills and assists, also 11k. And you see that in the end, even though uh, BB lands a lot of kills, not that much CS, losing a bit to Grave, but still with 9k. 9.8 moving to the 10k mark oh, right there. Oh, here we go. The slow does go down. The entrapment unfortunately does not get anybody right out there. But it looks like they are going to go in for a massive push. Now the inhibitor has a heal back up. And against Nessus, you don't have a proper CC to stop him. You it's can't like do anything. AD carry is like gone. You can't save him. AD he carry. Smashes. Oh, look at Rengar. One and hit. Come on. Oh, the hit's not actually landing yet. Uh, I would like to see how much damage they dealt actually because yeah. Rengar is going through a tanky path. Oh my my. And shit, we see Zyra being caught. Oh, it's gonna die right there. Oh no, he flashes away in the while perfect ultimate locking up everyone that's chasing after him right there. Good job on the mistake. And here we see oh, wow, baby tries to the kill right there. And uh, that's to both of them. And here they flash out, but he's still being really Nice, shut, shut down. down. And here we see Nessus coming in from the side. And there he goes. One hit. hit. Oh. oh! And there goes the tree called the help we were talking about. Even with the shield on right there, it's not what enough. Yeah. And yes, and there goes a triple, triple kill. kill. And he's not Damn. losing any health at all. And this is it. The ace with Nessus, Cyphering Strike, towers. You are my best friend. <laughs> you don't do anything to oh me. Oh god. Tau just... Towers, you are Taufu. Oh, look oh, at Oh my that. god, it's the just... damage is... <gasps> oh, once again. Oh, sh it's right. It's oh it's my god. Right oh, now. look at that. Onto the Nexus it's as not well. Only with the Shin from uh, oh, Nasus oh, Cyphering Strike. Oh, uh, oh, also with the Leash Bane from coming from Reset Fate. Oh, about the same damage. Oh, you know that magic damage oh, starts on damage. Oh, and Nasus Cyphering Strike. Matches up to that, even though it's physical damage, and that is just ease. Like seriously, <laughs> I, I need to take a shower. Like oh god, that damage was dis disgustingly <laughs> good. Like oh, and the game does end in twenty five minutes and twelve seconds. I'm not that far off. Not that far off. Oh. Very close to it, and they still hold true to things. I mean, let's have a quick look at the score screen. Look at itemization. Like for these two games, you can see that uh, TPA being more aggressive, but at the same time, the strategy was is you can see that. Stan they just allowed Stanley to free farm. Okay. And Stanley free farm throughout the game. First game as Jax, same thing. Mm -hmm. I love when they travel, they help other people. Stanley's like, yeah, just go. It's fine, it's fine. I, go. Hyper carry champion, you know, I can do this, no problem. <laughs> and then just, it is a hyper carry champion, but he actually is much slower to build up in comparison to Jax. Yes. Everything's there because he needs a lot of things to consider the amount of mana, kills, and things, and things like that. For to, yeah. to yeah, get up his siphoning strike, I mean, it's a lot there. Now, if you have a quick look at um, the itemization now. Um, I would say that for a 25 minute mark, it's not so bad for the side of Bangkok Titans. I would have to disagree with you. It's not so bad? I mean, it's 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 actually quite bad. It's actually quite bad? Okay. Because the money gain by then, everyone about this point of time, should, I think for the support, it's about 6k plus, yeah, but the other people, should have reached to about 7k to 8k, especially okay, so Grace, the, Grace is about there. Grace is about there, definitely. Okay, um, so a little bit under, it would be Lux. Yes, and Lux. Maokai is, Maokai is fine. Maokai is a jungler. Once you know you don't do that well, oh. your main goal comes from the GP5. Okay. But for Vanguard, because you know, he oh, had no was shut down. at the top. Yeah. He, had to, he had to farm other lanes and he took the CS and he helped, had to gank the places, not all the time landing kills. And it's not enough gold. I and Nasus just free farming. Yeah, that bit. Oh. Nasus was allowed to do whatever he wanted to on top. He like you see, like for Lee Sin, he, this is 25 minute mark, like you're doing okay. One, he's a one death, I'm mean, sorry, one, one kill, kill four, four deaths, nine, nine assists. assists. And that's where, oh, he, I mean, that's where his, all his extra money comes from, all his nine assists yeah. coming out there. Yeah. 7.2 7. 7. without yeah. any GP fires, yeah. but mostly coming from global objectives. And from this game, I think only the mid server broke. That's why. Yeah. Like you know, by twenty-five minutes marks, you know, if it's a fair game, you'd see that most towers, the first tier tower for each side, will be broken down. Yeah. Good. And then the money will be about the same. But no, it's just the money. It's just that uh, BKT couldn't get close to that. And the top lane attempt from Renga, it just failed, and he just died. And it just uh, it, it's stacking up all the initial days. game went to their favor, went to Bangkok Titans, but. The transition into mid game was not carried forth. They could not carry this continuous aggression of ganking each other and helping out the lanes, and that's what happened. But um, we have reached the end of today. So, this was the second game that was being played. So, 
congratulations to Taipei Assassins. Um, oh, a very good job to the side of Bangkok Titans. Um, I'm trying it's to make something happen there. So as a first game for SGS, they did, they did, they they did a good job. Yeah, good job as well. Mm -hmm. But I think for all of you guys who are waiting out there, I know there's the new edition of Razor right <laughs> here, and we have the question of the night for you guys. Um, so before we move on to the question, yep. that's some short things to go through. That no winners will be announced on Facebook the following Monday, and the contest will only be open to Malaysian and Singaporean summoners. Yeah. So yes. So it's a little bit of a change compared to before. This the wording were Malaysian and Singaporeans. Um, on the server? On the server, but no, we're actually limiting to Malaysians and Singaporeans um, here itself because we do have other nationalities playing on our server. So just to make sure that we, as long as you're within Singapore and Malaysia, you have a chance to win it. The question is, which champion do you want to see being played at the GPL playoffs? Now, the GPL playoffs will be done next week, so let us know on our Garena League of Legends Facebook page what champion you would like to see and you can send a chance to win Razor Gear. Mm -hmm. Yes. And just question, as simple as that. Yes, just as simple as that. The question we posted on the Garena League of Legends Facebook page. So just go on to it later on when the stream is ended. You will see it right there. And so before we go off, just announcement for tomorrow games. Let's see it happen. This is the last hunt for KL Hunters for this coming weekend, so to speak, for Saturday yep. and Sundays. <sighs> it's the very see. last hunt for them. And they'll be playing against the Singapore Sentinels. We'll be able to beat them one more time. Mm -hmm. And then we're going up against Manila Eagles now. Beat, beat them once. Yep. But twice, I think, I believe. Twice. Uh, about once or twice, somewhere yes. around there. In but so place. tomorrow, um, we will be the mainstream. In fact, we'll be the only stream tomorrow. Um, so stay tuned and watch Teddy and I casting there. And we'll be here, in fact, on Sunday as well. So for this weekend, we'll be doing all three days. But for Sunday, we will not be the mainstream. We'll be the secondary stream. Yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed us. Me, and the me, games. Me, not him. Me, just enjoy me. It's okay. I'll hide here. <laughs> he, he wants a team more head, he's going to cry soon, so I'm not going <laughs> to promote him that much. <laughs> okay, so this has been Sudo and. Thank you, guys, for watching. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye then. Good night. <laughs>